Hey yo, this is Neff right here. Beats in the hood. What it good be, hope you with a shimmy, this is your boy N-O-R-E. What Woo. up, it's DJ E-F-N. And this motherfucking Drink Champs Crazy War Hour, make some noise! <laughs> when me and E-F-N started this show, we said we wanted to base it on legends. This man that we have today, he's not only a legend, he's an icon. He can do anything, mm -hmm. I witnessed it, from acting, to rapping, to, to walking on your hands on stage. To fighting mm. crime at night like Batman. Y'all slept <laughs> safe last night, right? To yeah. fighting crime at night like You're Batman. You're welcome. He, he can do it all. I literally seen it. Exactly. I, we, lit, I, we went through his whole discography and literally we didn't, have, we could, we, the records just kept going, kept going. We didn't, we didn't have to play a record over and over because this guy really has classics. This guy's really a legend. He's really an icon. He's really, the, and, and one of the most, Humblest people I know, but he is a goddamn king. And in case you don't know who the fuck we talking about, we talking about yeah. the one, the only, only So, mm. Matt, you on you, you on tour? Did you go to the whole tour or? or? I'm on, well, um, yeah, I'm on this whole tour this okay. time. Yeah, um, the writer's strike helped. Okay, you know, Ooh, um, sad, yeah. the 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 Screen right. Actors yep. Guild, this, uh, the Actors Strike help. Mm. Um, I just want everybody to get their money. I, I would right. never block anybody from a check. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But it always right. feels good to be able to work. And um, we got grips, right? Lighting guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's going to come out on the other end. I, I hope, right. I hope uh, better than they were left right. off. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because um, I went to the show in Paris. And I was, I was telling you. Minor EFN, floss, minor floss. That was a minor floss? Oh, my bad. I didn't know. 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 But I went to the show in Paris, and one thing that I was amazed about it was it wasn't like Nas was coming out and then Wu-Tang was coming out. It was right. like almost sharing the stage. Like a mixtape. It mix almost tape. felt like a mixtape. I was sitting there, and I could not hold myself. Like, I, I sat there, and I, I sweated like I'm sweating right now. I fucking right. yelled to the top of my lungs. I was in there, and I... And, it, this is this is a real put together tour. So this yeah. is ha, 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 um, you wasn't on that first leg of the tour. I wasn't right? on the first leg of the tour, which is why like I can't even give away how the how the show goes. But right. um, I'm not as upfront as the other guys are okay. because the way the the show was patterned, RZA put the show together. By the way, the way it was patterned was like a play. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have Act One, Act Two, Act Three, Act Four, and so on and so that's forth. Dope. Mm -hmm. um, we added De La Soul. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a major bump right, right. there. You know right. what I mean? I think dudes added De La Soul just in case the crowd gets soggy because De La man. I mean, oh yeah, you yeah. talking about performance? Yeah. Like shout out to uh, True Goy Dove. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Rest that's in that's Paradise, that's brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm happy to have them there. Taleb is with us too as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you know. It's always good to be around the fellas. Let's work. Well, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> we got more people there. Hell yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I, I, I know you said you, you can't blow it up, but I was there. I went to the show and I was so impressed. Like, it's so dope to see our groups, uh, yeah, uh, uh, seasoned. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, like I, I, I'll go to a, um, every now and then I'll go to go check out a new artist and I'll see they 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 developing but once you have an artist like Wu and Nas there's experience there it's experience man. and it's yeah. like and and it's crazy cuz of course every time I see you on stage Meth, it feels like you just belong there. I'd be happy to be there, man. I love performing. You, you still love performing? Yeah. 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 Look at your face. <laughs> 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 nah, it's, it's, it's as fun as you make it, you know right. what I mean? And Especially with my guys, right. um, Wu Tang, I just love being on stage with them because I, I remember where we started at. And every now and then, I gotta 
shake it off because I'm looking at, right. you know, us as uh, teenagers. Right, right. And I'm looking at it, and I'm just— Like brings, time traveling. Yeah, and it brings <laughs> joy to my heart to see where we came from, to right. see where we at right now right. and stuff. Right. Like, man, I used to see you walk around the same dirty-ass sneakers <laughs> on the couch. You know, now you pulling up in the Maybach. That's dope. Yeah. That is so dope. Uh, so I'll, we we saved this for quick time with slime, but I want to ask you off top. So what is what do you like more, performing or making a record? Damn, they both like the same to me because it's, it's being creative, <laughs> and I, and that's what I am. I, I you know I, I go beyond artists. Right. I like to call us creatives because that's what we do. Right. We start with a blank slate and whatever it is, that's what it's going to be. Right? right. Um, I don't know. I mean, the the just being in the studio, the studio atmosphere. I don't really like it. You don't like being in the studio? No, I like to write in the comforts of my own okay. home or, okay. believe it or not, the front seat of a vehicle, moving wow. vehicle. I like wow. to write there as well. And it got to be moving. Yeah. Oh, but wow. A lot of my writing was done like that because I think the fact that my album, my first album was literally destroyed in a flood, a lot of the writing and stuff I had to do while Wu-Tang was promoting the first album. Right. So we was down south, west coast, all that. And while these guys were going to the after party, Right. I was in the studio recording. So hold on. Wait, so your first solo album? Yeah, he just said that. Like, what did you, what did got you yeah. destroyed in that flood? That, that... Yeah, the whole, everything. Wow. Well, the majority of it. So Riz had to remake a lot of the tracks and I had to re-record. Did you change anything about the album? Like, was how different was it from the original? Only one that changed somewhat, it sounded better when I originally done it, was uh, Stimulation. Mm. The night that I did it, um, we had performed. Like I said, we, I was coming right off the stage, going right into the studio. Right. And I remember this studio in particular when I did it because one of the dudes from Troop was there. Troop. Oh, yeah, the, the, the R&B group. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, the lead singer dude, a little short one. <laughs> right. And, uh, you know, uh, and I remember the Papa Stopper had like the... the uh, That's the mic the hanger. for people that don't mm -hmm. know the yeah. Papa Stopper. Yeah, and at the hanger with the stocking wrapped around. Yep. You know what I mean? We just caught the shit like that. <laughs> That kind of shit. That, that, that's the, you know the I mean? youngest don't know. That's the original hey, Papa Stop. Don't know the, it, booth yeah. was, the booth was the size of a small closet in the in the projects. Period. Right. But I got wow. it done. I got wow. it done. If people knew what I went through to get that four mic album, mm -hmm. and they gave me four mics in the source, I wasn't mad at it. That's what it felt like. Something. Felt like something. So um, I always wanted to ask you because we was playing this record earlier, and they said you hate this record. What record was it? Was it M E T H? Yeah, that's what I, I heard. I saw an old interview where you had said you didn't really like the record. You had to be convinced of it. Yeah, um, but over the years I learned to love it. Oh, I, that's what I told you. I said, I, yeah. you asked him now, he's gonna say yeah, you probably love it. Like when I wrote Method Man, I was like 15, 16 years old. Right. 16, 17, yeah. You young niggas got no excuse. For real. We You but, out here making four flowery. Uh, <laughs> he made it at 15 years old. I mean, we <laughs> were back then we wasn't writing verses, we was writing songs. We right, had right. verses with hooks. Right, right, you right. know what I mean? We had routines, all that shit, but we mm. was doing it for nothing. Right. right. You know, just to impress the people around our way. So yeah, man, like it was it was real back then, B. I, yeah. uh, you know? So you 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 didn't like it at first? Um, I just it was the rhymes. Oh it really? was the rhymes. I thought they were a bit dated. But the the date the updated part of it was the hook. Mm. Now, my mind works crazy. I don't know where I heard these records before, but it was etched in my head. Hey, right. you, get off my cloud. You don't know me, you don't know my stuff. Hey, you, get off my cloud. Who is that? Okay. Hey, you, get off of my cloud. <laughs> right. Now, see, I, 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 now, now, I think that's Bootsy, Bootsy Collins, <laughs> yeah. but it was stuck in my head, okay. right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> so when I got, by the time I got to the M E T H O D man, mm -hmm. that was already etched in my head from mm -hmm. you know M E T H O D O F L O V E, yeah. big hall and oats. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Right. Holy shit! The man part came from Master Ace. One of my favorite records was Music Man. Mm. The music band. Mm. So it was M E T H O D man. So you put like three songs together and made your own a shit. Bunch of shit. Bunch wait, wait, of shit. And you're 15 years old? You did that at 15 years old? Yeah, yeah. And um, no, no, I was like 16, 17. I mean, it's close um, The other hook part, um, I got fat bags. That's the Beatles. Oh, uh, She's got uh, your yeah. Yeah. No, that, yeah. 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 I did not able to hear that song now. Right. We got to take our hip hop card. Fat bags, let's go. Now, he, 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 Yo, holy shit. Because I've lived in every... Remember, like, we didn't have... 
back in the day when we were shorties, we didn't have like video music box, right. you know, uh, video jukebox. And the closest thing that we could get to seeing hip hop videos was never, really, if you think right. about it. Right. So it the, the, the videos that we did see was top 40 countdowns. Right. Wow. A lot of rock and roll. Wow. A lot of rock and roll. I remember I was a big um, Bon Jovi fan. You give love yeah. a bad name. Then they came out with the uh, Wanted Dead or Alive. I was like, John Bon Jovi is a bad motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I found that we born on the same day. It was over. Oh, my God. Over. Yeah, no. That was a great record. The Young Gun <laughs> Joint. Yeah. Come on. Holy shit. And you said you wanted to ask about the songs coming nah, out. You know what's crazy? I had never knew. Like, I had always debated what had dropped first. Was it Protect Your Neck? Protect. Or, um, Method Man was already done, though. I, I, like, I sat there and watched RZA make the beat. I sat there and watched RZA make the beat for Wu-Tang Clan. Ain't nothing to fuck with. Like, I was sitting there while he was going through the, the joints. I, I don't want to give away the... Well, they know who the samples are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. He had a fucking record of cartoon classics. Right. And that's where the underdog sample came from. Right? And the Method Man sample was... I don't know if RZA want me to tell that either. Yeah, I got it. Right, nah, 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 you know, know <laughs> Thelonious Monk. <laughs> <laughs> and the sample's so small, you, you you won't be able to find it. Right. Wow. For Method Man, wow. you won't be able to find that motherfucker. Wow. So, you know, uh, I was around for some shit, nigga. I was around for some shit. Because but, I always... Go ahead. I'm, 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 but protect your neck. Mm -hmm. Contrary to... I had read somewhere that um, people misconstrued my words and thought that I paid $100 to get into the Wu-Tang. Yeah. Wait, now, what? the story goes like this. Okay. RZA was putting together this song... Call Protect Your Neck. Well, it wasn't called Protect Your Neck then, but he was putting together this song, and he said, bring $100 to the studio. They had already paid for the studio, okay. but they were trying to get some of their money back. Okay. So they tried to get every man to bring $100 right. to the studio. And I said, honestly, I think me and you, God, the only niggas that brought $100. <laughs> they didn't even say shit. They just kept the money and shit. <laughs> but, you know, out of it came a, a dope-ass motherfucking record and shit. You know what I'm saying? And contrary to what people think, no, we did not pay to get into the group. We uh -huh. all grew up around each other from teenagers Right. Like preteen ages to adults, right. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. So let me ask you because you was the first. That was the, that was the, you was the first one with a solo record. I was the first one to sign. Let's show them. I, I, I mean, I, you got I, the I, solo I seen song. That in the documentary. Right. You was the first one to. to I was sign, the first one to sign. And you was the last one to lay the, the last verse on on um first on the first. What, what was it? What? Uh, the first, and, and the show says. That Rizzo told you he was the first one to sign a contract to start it off, mm. and he was the last one to start the verse of the second album, Wu Tang Forever, to end the contract. Oh, I didn't know that. Damn, damn. that was that's deep. Dope. <laughs> he said that's dope. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, I honestly, I know we had a contract and shit really, <laughs> that could end. Right. Honestly, right. let me finish the sentence. I know we had a contract that could end and shit. You know, right. brotherhood forever and shit. And it's right. like RZA has given RZA has given us way more than we ever could have dreamed of. Right. And we've given him the same. Right. Right. As a collective, you'll never see anything like this again. And mm -hmm. I, and, you know, and I'm not. It's not a brag. It's just I'm just letting no, you know I can what brag the for facts. You. It's a brag. Yeah, I'm bragging. I'm bragging for you. Yes. There's, there will never be another Wu Tang. The cohesion and just the 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 I would like to call it clutch genius because we had no idea what we were doing when we were, you know, just freestyling for fun, going right. to raise the house making tapes. On the, on the, on the, just on the fly, you know what I mean? Some dudes had just started rhyming for like two years and got nice, just being mm. around that atmosphere kind of thing, you know? Um, and to have him to have a vision to put all of that to, I mean, this is like frantic shit. Nope. Right. Like when you heard, only people that I, that I can think that came close and they came before us was N.W.A. Right. When you heard the N.W.A. album, you expected to hear all of them on each record, but you didn't. Sometimes right. you just got Easy. Sometimes you got Cube. Ice Cube and right. Ren, you know, or just Dre and Cube. And, yeah. You know what I mean? And RZA did that same shit, but it was more clutch genius than anything because we had these records for years before anybody even heard these shits. So he put them all together and made them sound like it was a complete fucking album. This is why Method Man is a solo record right. on a fucking, on a Protect Your Neck, on the flip side of it and shit. Because that's my how? question. Yeah, how? my question was, how am did I the leader of the Wu-Tang? Yeah, but fuck? you know what? You know what's it launched you in that way, I though. I am the fuck. But you know what's crazy on that, on that record? <laughs> the first thing you say, you, you could tell that you wanted to shout out your crew. The first thing you do is shout out your crew. Mm -hmm. Like, off top. It might have said Method Man, but one thing I noticed is off top. You, you RZA orchestrated that part of it, but I probably would have did that shit anyway, and Jizz is the one who actually said it. He, he, he did the breakdown of it and shit. Word. That's Jizza? That's Jizza. That's the Jizza Mac. I 
I thought. And I he was good was at you. that. Nah, that was Jizza. <laughs> that was Jizza. Holy moly. Because you've been to way too many shows. That's right. <laughs> <why. laughs> I, I, I be saying that Lord, part. Holy I shit. definitely be saying that holy part. Shit. So, you got a chance to work with Tupac and Biggie. Yeah. Yeah. How crazy Rest is that? Piece of well, it would have been crazy if Pac would have actually been there. Now, with Big, I remember Tracy Waples came and picked me up, scooped me up, and the word was amongst the crew, because we was getting hot. We had some traction. And RZA's a smart motherfucker. I mean, he, people don't give him enough credit, honestly. RZA didn't he want you to do the record, right? He did not want us to do any records with anybody outside of the clan. Keep Let's the money the in the pocket. Let's being a foul, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, but, but for that. It's, it's genius to it because yeah. when you got when your name is hot, why would you want to spread your your money? Yeah, why would it's you want to absolutely split? right? So you you bring it, but in my defense, I'm thinking, well, if I kill this record, their fans is now our fans. Yes. Right. So Tracy Waple comes, scoops me up, I go do the record. Biggie is mad funny. This is like my second yeah. time. The first time I met him was outside the Muse. Uh, we all performed there that night. We performed, Big performed, Yo-Yo performed that night mm. as well. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time I seen Big do party and bullshit. Now, the reason why I knew it was Big because he had on the big shirt. Now, back then, now back then, if you wore a fucking shirt in the video and it was your first video and you a new artist, <laughs> you were seeing in that shit everywhere you went for the next few weeks. I no know lie. That. Okay, okay. No lie. I wore a lot of my shit like that. The fucking All I Need shit, the fucking nope. Bring the Pain leather, <laughs> that shit went everywhere with me, nigga. Think about it. Okay, think about it. There's live footage uh -huh. at the Roxy, Puffy's uh, birthday party. Right. I got the leather on. <laughs> live footage, right? Uh -huh. Wu-Tang performing in Long Island. You I got, got the leather, leather on. <laughs> Bring the Pain video, Leather on. <laughs> Tell me. It's like, yeah, it's me. Oh, yeah, that got to be him. We got the leather on. Mm, but let me it. ask you, because you said something. You said Pac wasn't there? No, he wasn't there. Pac was in jail. That was for the Dog Pound album. That was for Dad. That's right. Yes, That's right. yes. That's and right. Death Row was so tight that when Pac came home... They gave him the record. Yeah, because they, you know, it was like, come home, Pac. And when he came home, they was like, here it is. Whatever you want, we got it. Now, was the East Coast mad at you at this time? No. I never got any flag. Never Nobody said no shit flag. to me about really? that shit. Nothing. Let me tell you something about Wu-Tang and shit. Okay. <laughs> For one, all right, you, you know it's nine, ten members. Ten yeah, members. Crazy okay. motherfuckers. Ten I know members. all of y'all. But they don't know that ten members got family members. Right, right. And we from Multiple everywhere. Lines. It's 900 of y'all. Yeah, it's Bro, true. we from everywhere. We right. got family. We didn't even know we had shit. But we from everywhere. So it's like if somebody did feel a certain kind of way, it was rectified really fast. Okay. Really fucking fast. But I never gotten any beef, whatever. Me and Big was still cool. Big never looked at it in any weird kind of motherfucking way and shit. And, you know, when I finally did run into Pac, the record wasn't even mentioned. Go ahead, man. <laughs> okay. All right. So this shit going on with the East Coast, West Coast shit. Okay. Uh, I fly out to Cali. Uh-huh. That day for Soul Train, like everybody did. Okay. Oh, man. Soul Train Awards happening. I get on the plane. I'm in first class. Shook gets mm. on. He leaving from New York. That's going. wild. And I'm like, well, wow, that's that's interesting. You know? Shug, you and Shook in first class. Yes. From New York to L.A. From, from New, New York. York to L.A., yes. Okay. Let's he didn't say shit to me either. Okay. <laughs> he didn't say shit to me. Anyway. Uh -huh. No, he did when he got off the plane, though. He did the head nod, that Shook shit. He was like... And walked off the plane. You know what I mean? I ain't even say shit back though. It's like whatever, nigga. Um, but long story short, and that means it's gonna be longer. Um, I'm in uh, House of Blues. This is House where they used to do the Soul Train Hollywood? party every okay. year. Yeah, right there on the strip. Mm -hmm. They do the Soul Train party. I'm up in here right now. I'm on mushrooms like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what they were doing out there. So no, soon they, as I got the plane, <laughs> hit me with the shroom. Bah, 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 bah. I'm in here like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I mean, it didn't hit me, hit me. Like, cause, you know, yeah. we got a force field. Yeah, this whole yeah. time, we got a force field around us, but I'm by myself. Yeah. Uh, it didn't hit me while I'm in the club, in the house of blues, till I saw Puff. Right. And this ain't a slide against Puff, but it was like, I see Puffy. Right. And I see Puffy with like six bodyguards. Uh -huh. Then it hit me. Was like, wait a minute. The, the oh, shrooms you talking about? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The whole, the whole, no, the whole everything. The whole everything. <laughs> the situation, everything. Everything that's going on. Yo, when the I tell you, it. right? Ignorance <laughs> is bliss, like a motherfucker. But I see Puffy come in, and mind you, Puff don't speak to me. Mm -hmm. No, he speaks to me, but he never speaks to me like this. 
Embrace Matt for something. Did he have a shiny suit on? No, he didn't have a shiny suit on. Puff had on all black. <laughs> but he was on point. You can tell he was on point. Okay. He ain't had nothing to drink, none of that shit. Right. But he had all these niggas with him, bodyguard right. niggas. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, oh shit. Hmm. I slide my ass. Now I'm looking around to see if anybody saw me speak to this motherfucker and saw that <laughs> shit, right? And don't ask me why no, I'm thinking this. It's just, I don't want to be on anybody fucking radar right, right. at this point, right? right. The shrooms. <laughs> the shrooms. <laughs> So I'm up in, you know, I remember how they had the, the food booths and, you know, you could sit up in the booth. So I'm sitting up on top of the booth, sitting like this, right? And I'm in my head like crazy. And I was like, did that just happen? Because Puff's never that nice to me. Right. I mean, he's nice, okay. but he's never that nice to me. Okay. <laughs> this is after you, you got off the plane with Shug. This is not no, that, it's after okay, everything. Okay, I'm okay. in the club now. Okay, I've okay, seen okay, Puffy okay. come through, and now it's like, oh, shit, East Coast. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, he's, damn. <laughs> Puffly, um, like I said, I slid up in a booth like this. Now I'm just sitting there. I'm fucked up off these shrooms. Now I'm at the utmost point, yeah, the peak of shroom high. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and shit, and it's like, and I hear meth, meth. And I look, and it's Latifah. She was like, what the fuck you doing up in that corner? Come here. And I snapped out of that shit. I was good the rest of the night after that. Shout out to you, Dana. I love you. I love you. After that, I was like, shit, we good. We good, nigga. Uh, so, end of, the, end of the night happens. Uh-huh. All the lights come on. I'm leaving. Turn around. Tupac. Mm. In the Show. same club Puff is Yeah, that? the whole night. I had no idea, though. Boom, boom, boom. Turn around his pocket and shit. Now, he's telling me about something, some incident that happened with RZA in Vegas. And if he was there, it probably wouldn't, it definitely wouldn't have happened, blah, blah, blah. I spoke to the pals that be. Basically, he was saying, um, if there's anybody we would fuck with on the East Coast, right. it'd be Wu-Tang. Right. You know what I mean? Right. This is letting us know, mm-hmm. and anybody that was in the know, know that it wasn't an East Coast, West Coast thing. Right. It was bad boy, death yeah, row right. thing. Okay? Right. He started saying something else, but I'm not really listening because I'm looking at the death row piece on his chain. And this is my first time meeting Pac, so I'm like, oh shit, this fucking Tupac. Look Mm. at that fucking chain. (laughs) And he, I remember looking up and he finished what he was saying. I was like, yeah, all right, you know, men come to the table, we talk. All right, peace. And I remember looking at Suge and he got the cigar like this and he's like, (laughs) nothing. Nothing, no express, just, just you know what I mean? Stoic, because the cameras is on, nigga. Right. Shit, he in shug mode and shit. So I'm right. like, yeah, walk out, we get out front and shit. No lie, man. I, I remember being in the back of Pink Dot in that alleyway. You know okay. where Pink Dot is, right up the block. Mm-hmm. And we sat there and was discussing that whole night of how that shit was so fucking weird. You and Pac? No. Oh, you... Me and the people I was okay, with. Okay, 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 okay. How that shit was just so fucking weird. Like that was that... in a party with Puffy and Pac. All that shit happened like that. Latifa, like, nigga, what are you, are you doing, sure motherfucker? It was the mushrooms, right? It was definitely the mushrooms. <laughs> it was definitely the mushrooms. Oh, Shout shit. out to Pink Dot. But that, you know, that's my Pac story and shit. And I, I didn't, um, so y'all didn't never see him after that. So you never discussed the record? Never. He never said, thank you, good looking for the... For, no, never. Because you had to clear that, bro. Honestly, right? um, yeah, but I had cleared it for Dog Pound. You cleared it. Those were my niggas. Exactly. Right. 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 and corrupt. Right. Those were my niggas. Right. So right. the way that shit ended up on the record, right. they were playing it in New York. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel any kind of way about it because I killed my verse, so I didn't give right. a fuck what anybody right. thought any fucking way, but they were playing it in New York. It was on mixtape. And that was the first yeah. time I heard it. I had no idea Pac was on the shit. Really? Right. Because in the part that Pac rhymed in, that was Rage's verse. And then Lady I did, of Rage. Yeah. Lady okay, of Rage. Because yeah, okay, okay. it was a dog pound record. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Dex verse wasn't on there. So I was like, wow, that's 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 mm. interesting. So originally it was it was it was a Wu Tang collab with Dog no, Pound. No, it was just uh it Dog was, Pound feature. Let's put it this way. Anytime I went to Cali, yeah. them niggas would come scoop me. When you they came to the East Coast, corrupt and I would come scoop them. Okay, cool. That kind of thing cool. and shit. I had niggas in Harlem and shit in the back of the forerunner. These niggas right. in the back of the forerunner like this, multi million dollar niggas right. scrunched up in the back of my motherfucking whip. <laughs> Anyway, uh, um, yeah, they would always come get me, and Dak just happened to be there that day. Right. Me, him, and Doc slid over to Daz's crib, fed us, played some motherfucking NBA 2K, smoked, and started writing. Whoa. And you said you you spoke to Big after that, too? And Big never- I mean, not NBA 2K. It was EA Sports. It was NBA Live. Sorry, NBA Live. Okay. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, and you said you saw Big after you, the, the pop record got recorded, yeah. and nothing was never... No, never anything. You really that figure, man. No, but you're <laughs> 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 
Let me let me explain something. Even when Ghost and Ray, uh, or rather Ray, for instance, said something about oh, the album cover yeah. and all that stuff. Niggas big nine. I had shit. already me and Big had already had a rapport. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And the way they felt wasn't mm-hmm. the way I felt at all. Mm-hmm. Plus. It didn't have any merit to it because right. we've never discussed that as a clan. Mm. That's just something Ray came off with as Ray. That's, I mean, that's how he felt. That's how he felt. You know what I mean? But I had already that had was a on Ghost album, though, right? That's Kit. No, that was on Ray's. That was Ray's album. No, it was on Ghost album. It was, it was on Ghost album because yeah. he was like Clyde Iron Smith, Man, nigga. Yeah, Clyde Smith. Really? Yeah, yeah. really so. Yeah. yeah. No, it was on. Uh, the skit, was is, it, skit is on Ghost album. Was it on Cuban uh, Links? No, Cuba, that was on Cuban Links. Uh, Cuban Links. Yeah, that was Cuban Links. Uh, Matter of fact, it was Ghost that said that Why shit. No, like like we don't no, got no, Google. You right? You right? You right? How you we, right? How you we right? say that we, go, we don't got Google? <laughs> you right? My brain's fucked yeah, up. It was Ghost that said it okay. on Ray's album. Okay, there you go. They they absolutely right. There you go. But like I said, like even when we used to do shows with them niggas, right? Um. Some dudes would just keep walking, you know what I mean? When you say But I would always stop and say what's up to him and season. We used to kick okay. it, regardless to who was there, whatever, whatever and shit. Right. Um Big was a great dude, man. Like really, really fucking anybody that knew him would tell you he's the funniest motherfucker on the planet and shit, but cool as hell. Do, 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 do you understand how hard it was to rhyme with Big? No, I didn't. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss, bro. Yeah. And I'm telling you, at that point, Wu Tang was hotter than fish grease, nigga. They been lucky. Yeah. Let me tell you something. And ain't no slight against bad boy, but well, maybe it is. But y'all niggas lucky we ain't have our shit together the way we should have had our shit together back then. They know it too. Yo, I we let a lot of y'all niggas live. Listen, I listen to the record, and I listen to a lot of big features. And Big really murders everybody that he's on the record with. I'm so sorry to certain people that be mad at me when I say this. I apologize. I don't mean no disrespect. But Big, other than... You and Jay, I didn't. I don't see Jay people. murdered that fucking man. Yeah, I don't see. But people Jay was ready. I think big. Jay had that verse for like eight years. The and shit. He was just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> he was just waiting. To, yeah. What? He was just like shit. I got like one in the chamber right here. Yeah. But yeah. did did you realize that Big was <clears throat> one of the goats at that time? He wasn't. He, he, Nobody knew who we were. Nobody. Mm. It was like. The way we felt about ourselves, mm-hmm. because you know New York was the mecca of mm-hmm. fucking hip hop. So right. that tri-state, if you lit there, right. that's the world for you. Yeah, you go down you can't south. Say shit like that, people like yeah. <laughs> you go down they, south. They hate the New York. <laughs> you, you go down south. This is where it changes at. Yes. This is where uh-huh. bad boy said. Pew. Right. One more chance. They was loving that shit in the show. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, 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 Big Papa. Yeah. That shit in the cell. Mm-hmm. We ain't had those records, but we did have all I need, which was my shit. But right. killing that shit, right. and them niggas took the fuck off, man. Bless all of them, man. Right. For real, they, you know, that's an iconic fucking label, iconic fucking crew, and Puff still doing it. Salute so, to Puff. So this, this, let's describe this session. Yeah, Tracy Raples, you said. Hey, what? She, she 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 picks you up. Y'all go yeah. to this session, and is this beat already playing? Or uh, Easy Mo B made the beat. Easy um, made yeah, it, it was fun. playing. No, Sounds it was already easy. playing. It was already playing. Mm-hmm. And you you walked in and said, Nah, I walked in and Big was snapping on Puff first, and you know I'm just laughing <laughs> and shit. And shit, was, shit was hilarious because Puff was like, "Y'all say my name." He's like, "Nigga, I said your name like 15 times on this motherfucking album." Puff know I'm telling the truth too. You know I'm telling the truth, Puff. Um, but then we sat there and wrote our verses. We and, both sat and, there and wrote them. And and I, I'm an artist, so uh-huh. I know. Uh-huh. Are you sitting there trying to take his head off? Or, or you just saying, I'm just going... No, when I heard the beat, sometimes you hear a beat and mm-hmm. your pen just start flowing. So mm-hmm. once your pen start flowing, right. nothing else exists and you can't hear shit but the mm-hmm. beat and your pen ro- mm-hmm. your pen going. So it was no communication at that point in time. I didn't hear his shit. He didn't hear my shit. So it's even at y- that y- point. Y'all we trying to take each other's head zero. off. That's, that's now, I wasn't even <laughs> taking each other's head off. Me, I was just trying to stay in the pocket like I always do. Mm. I'm going to stay in the pocket. I'm going to ride this rhythm and I'm going I'm to I'm do like a little nine. Nas uh, cadence, if I can and shit. Well, what I thought was a Nas cadence. It was close. It was kind of close, but it wasn't exactly it because okay. it ran off into some other shit. Okay. But I've always had cadence. So who came up with the idea of y'all going back? Back and forth. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was big. Big? He wanted, to, he wanted to end it. You can't mess with M-E, and I was supposed to come with T-H-O-D, man, but it didn't fall on beat, so I overlapped him to do it. That's why I came in T-H-O-D, man. And now I got more Glocks and text than you. I make it hot. He wrote that. Niggas mm-hmm. won't even stand next to you. He said, you say this part right here. I was like, I don't say that part right here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yo, I ain't gonna lie. Biggie I Small. Love, yo, big, big, rest in peace, Biggie Small, man. Holy shit. But I ain't gonna lie, man. You, mm. like, I, I, I can listen to it, that record, to this day. And like I said, it's like y'all even. like I, And I just didn't hear anybody hanging with Big at that time. That was my mans right there. If you ask me, I'll say we both killed it. But other people like to say shit like, you know, I edged them. Stuff like that. Mm. But we're talking about two, first of all, kids. Right. Doing something they loved and trying to make something from nothing. Right. Being creatives, that's all, having fun. Right. It wasn't, I bet you Big wasn't trying to take my head off. I wasn't trying to take, we was just having fun in that bitch. Soon as I walked in, I told you what it was. The atmosphere was light. Right. Niggas was snapping. Right. Felt like being around Wu-Tang. Yo, Pierce. Yeah. For yeah. real, that was my man. I done, on only track I've done with Nas, and we was all in the studio, was... Um, fuck. Belly? And, uh, fuck. Um, dog, dogs for Life. Okay. For a belly soundtrack, yeah, mm -hmm. dogs for life. Yeah, yeah, and he killed that shit. Right. So there's, I mean, I'm, I'm dying to get on another track with Nas because he murdered us on that. I got to get my get back. <laughs> now I got to get my do, get back. You do be trying to take. Nah, 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 I just want to, I just want to keep up. I ain't be trying to take no hands. I would never, ever, ever, ever come at an MC. I'm on a track. But has, with, ever. You saw it, Magic nah. Three. Oh. oh. No, but that's not on the official album. Nah, one, I ain't Can't gonna lie. I, I say this a lot. Can't be. One time I did a song with Styles P, and he did he did the verse after me, uh, and I always wanted to rematch. <laughs> I always wanted to rematch. And it's not like you're it's, trying to go I'm at him. Trying, just yeah, like, I'm nigga, trying to, I'm him, trying yeah. to tell y'all I'm just as nice. Yeah, that's Fake real. Yeah. 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 Bro, yeah. so... um. Uh, Give him his flowers, man. That's right. Our show was about giving flowers. We wanted to give you your flowers face to face, man. man. I want to see this shit. Yeah. Like, hey! That shit flies. Snoop yeah. said it's like a, it's, it's better than the Grammy because it's coming from your people. Yeah. yeah, they got the Method Man logo. Yeah, yeah, they did it. They did it right. Like, we're showing up. Yeah. Yo, man. Snoop <laughs> always know what to say. That motherfucker, <laughs> Snoop ain't even a, a, a star. Snoop is like a. A fucking enterprise, yeah. Like, man, he's yeah. just an establishment, you know. Right, Snoop. I got your cereal too. My my, my oh, grandbaby yeah. love that shit. Yeah. Um. He uh, liked them fruit. He liked them Snoop Loops. We yeah. know. We know what that Snoop Loops. Uh, um. What kind of butt is that, man? Um. That shit look I good. Let me get a piece. Yeah. <laughs> I, I asked a nigga for a piece of butt and he, he ain't put no name years. on it. You know what though? Speaking of what butt though, that? uh, no. speaking of butt and you saying you want a piece, yo fellas, bring that shit over here real fast. Okay, okay, we got the we got the We get flowers too. <laughs> Norway EFN, here is your flowers, oh bro. Dang. Holy shit! Damn right. Give, so give me all your shit. You no, smoke. No, no. <laughs> No, 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 turn it off, turn it So. What is this? Tell us, break it down for us, man. So this is the Takao safe box right here, okay. right? This is and it's basically a, 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 a nice dressing for what's inside. Oh, this is, this is gorgeous. And right now, um, those boxes are getting very popular. And um, as the laws lighten in different states, we're going to be able to get them to more people with the... Uh, flower inside but these are the kind of flowers these are the kind of flowers I give yes I love y'all flowers though these are dope I've been seeing this this is dope this is dope appreciate it absolutely oh took my shit yeah I'm definitely gonna try to steal this shit nah 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 pause oh shit hold up holy moly what the fuck we got more shit for y'all that's dope. That's like that's, holy shit, that's wild. Uh, this is some shit y'all can put in that room where y'all got all the free shit people yeah. give y'all that y'all don't. Yes, hell yeah. Y'all just yeah. store it in one room. Put yes. that right next to that it. Is, that is lovely. I see y'all thieves looking at our <laughs> shit. <laughs> Especially Garcia, for some reason, I don't trust Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yo, yo, listen, your face said it all just Look, now. Your, right here, your right face now. was like, I'm taking EFN shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't cover it. No, don't cover it. Don't cover it. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, so, yeah. Right there. That's cool. So, meth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I believe you in every acting role you ever did. <laughs> like, I seriously, I, yo, Thank one you, time, brother. one Thank time, you, I kid you not, one time I, uh, I got serious about acting a little bit, right? 
and built that state property. State. And yeah, that and was normally be a I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest before. with you. So yeah. I got I got offered a role, uh. and I turned it down immediately wow. because I was scared to play a doctor. I was scared to try. You were scared of that long ass dialogue. I was probably scared of that. Yeah, mm. but what I'm saying is. <laughs> I can see you as a gangster on film. I can yeah. see you as a doctor on film. And yeah. I believe every fuck, a lawyer, every fucking role you take, you like the Denzel of this shit. Motherfucking thespian out here. Like, I appreciate you, brother. You know what, though? Um, mm -hmm. I made a decision a while ago that I was going to, um, I just got tired of doing shows overseas. Because, you know, there was a time where the new shit was hitting. These kids was tanned it up. I mean, right. psh, Right. They was getting way more than us for shows, and right. they were getting all of the shows. Nobody wanted to see any 90s right. shit, so we were yeah, doing overseas shows. It was hard. Appreciated yeah. though over there. Yeah. Loved them over there, but it was too much. Takes a toll. It was like my fourth time overseas that year. Oh. Now I was tired. You could be fucking. And I said, yeah. you know, I'm going to try to act. In, well, not try it. I said, you know what? When I get home, I'm going to make a decision to take this acting shit way more serious than I did before. And I went, bought a ticket to L.A., did not get a hotel room, did not get a car, no suites, no nothing. I went to my manager's house and slept on her couch in the Hollywood Hills. Mm. And I did that for about a month and a half. But when you're doing this, you're, 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 you're auditioning? I'm auditioning, okay. yes, but there's no plan. There's no real no, plan. And prior to it's that, you'd only done a, like a, two or three movies, maybe. No, no, I'd done a bunch of shit. Before the, this. Yes, but I had took a long hiatus to focus on the music. At this point in time, me and Def Jam were not on the same page. Right. They were ahead of the curve. They were trying to stay above water because you had cash money breathing down their necks. Right. Mm. You know, Puffy Ben was kicking Def Jam's ass and shit, right. but Def Jam had... What Def Jam did have that the other people didn't have, they had the Yankees. DMX, Ludacris, mm -hmm. Ja Rule, mm -hmm. Red and Meth. Right. Uh, Fab was over there at this point. Uh, Jada Kiss, I think, was over here at this mm -hmm. point. We were just, you know, big ass fucking roster and shit. Damn, I lost my train of thought. That's exactly what they told me when I assigned the Def Jam. Welcome to the Yankees. Welcome to the Yankees, right? They actually used that reference. Wow. Like welcome to the, like you like basically you was playing in the minor leagues. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, damn, that's a, that was some cocky shit to say. So they got me on my way out the door. At least that's what it felt like. You know, I wasn't being included in a lot of things and a lot of. And you know what? I got to take the blame for some of that because I was a really rotten person because I saw it coming, mm -hmm. and um, not. I don't know. I just I would be angry all the time. Because it was hard for me to accept that, I don't know, not to sound vain, but I wasn't that nigga anymore. Or at least that's what it felt like. Or I wasn't in what, you honestly, what like it you was. Felt your was, ego was, was damaged? That saying that to you? No, the, the label wasn't saying, I was saying this to myself, okay, but okay. the label was showing me okay. I that, you well, know, you your, time is, your yeah. time is, right. basically, is yeah. coming to an end, buddy. Right. And, you know, I made the decision that I can contribute way more. Right. And I can show all these motherfuckers that it's not the end for me. This right. is just the beginning. But mm -hmm. I didn't apply myself the way I should have. And I didn't voice my frustrations in a articulate manner like I can now. Right. So a lot of doors were starting to close, not because of the career thing, but because of the the vitriol that I was spitting out of my mouth, the the anger and the misery that I was spreading to the point where you don't want to answer that person's call. If I was at that point in time, had to listen to myself, mm. I wouldn't fucking have taken my call at that point. Um, so I made a decision. I'm going to fucking take this acting shit and I'm going to run with it. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. There's no plan. But this is what I want to do. Started getting on my physical fitness shit. Started going to classes. We say classes, acting classes? Acting, acting classes, actually sitting in a class. Right. And um, and you method man. Yeah. yeah. How, how, yeah, did that, yeah. how did you, like, how were you able to do that? Like, It's easy. Those kids in there are already stars, if you ask me. A lot of those kids that go to those classes are so advanced already. It's just that we haven't heard of them. Right. You know? Yeah, shout um, out to the classes. No, that's, it, it helps. No, but it, it actually helps. No, but yeah. I would rather be, I would rather be coached. By myself, the classes help you with the exercises and technique. And, and, and technique. And it's always great to have the tools. 
And Ivana Chubbick, Ivana Chubbick has a book called The Twelve Tools of Acting, or we're putting power back, giving power to the actor. Right. And once you learn these twelve tools, there's no way that you can walk on a set and feel out of place or not understand what's going on because of Damn. these tools here. Gee. So um, I'm going on these, or I'm getting. Sometimes I'm getting three, four auditions. Right that week, so I'm constantly Get studying four auditions. You said, yeah, okay. that week, but uh-huh. they're they're different characters. Okay, so I'm I'm learning the dialogue first, right. and the day of, I have to transition into this character. So how do you do that? Right. Um, it could be a song. I could listen to a certain kind of music, and it's like, okay, now I'm there, or it'd be a memory, something that jars that, something that brings that out. You know what I mean? Right. Or you go to your tools and you say, what do I want in this scene? What's my what's my scene objective right here? Then you got to say, okay, well, what is my overall objective? Now, for me, in real life, mm-hmm. my overall objective is just to win. I think everybody in this room can relate to that shit. Right. So why not fight for that every day? That's what we do in these scenes. Huh. We're fighting to win, whether we're a villain or the good guy. Mm. Right? You stabbed Samuel L. Jackson. I did. That was hard. I did. Yeah. I definitely yeah. did. Yeah. But whether you're the villain or the hero, mm-hmm. you're right. fighting for something. You're right. fighting to fucking win. Who's saying the villain isn't right? Because in his heart, he's doing the right fucking thing. He thinks he's the hero. Right. And the hero is doing what he feels is right. He could be the fucking villain mm. and not know it. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's the beauty of when you approach these fucking scenes or even these scripts when you're reading them and shit. First off, when you read a fucking scene, Nori. Uh, I don't like to read, but let's go. No, but fuck that. When you see this scene and shit, first thing that should be going through your head is, okay, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. And if you understand what's going on here, the next thing you should say is, okay, I see these words, but how would I fucking say it? I'm going to the school of method. I'm coming to your school. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm coming to see you wherever you at. Once a week. <laughs> I'm a he can, re- right. he can rebrand like, The way this thing is breaking this down, I'm going to see you. Oh, no, no, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. It would, it would be like, how would you say it? Yeah. And for me, it takes me back to just, just being on the block and dudes telling stories from a third person um, about something that happened. Right. And really, if you got a good storyteller, y'all know this shit. If you got, yeah. he doing other people's voices yeah. and shit. Right. He be acting like certain yeah. niggas, and yeah. y'all know all know that yeah. this nigga act a certain way and shit. And you laughing? Yeah. Like, same fucking thing. Because you know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I think I took the sucker route. How? I, I would read scripts when they gave it to me, and I would just change all the words to my words. Yeah. So I think I should have did what you. you, you should, I should have, because like for instance. State property character, yeah. they came to me and it was named Pedro. And I didn't want to be named Pedro. I was like, nah, I'm not a Pedro. I was like, I'm my pollo loco. You know what I mean? And I like like, so I, I changed like it and then all of the, because the, they actually wrote it for PD Crack. This is what a lot of people don't know. Mm. PD Crack got locked up. I mean, PD Crack got locked up. The only other black and Puerto Rican in the game was me. PD Crack, so, black and Puerto Rican? Yeah, PD okay. Crack, black and oh, he, he nigga Ricky like me. Yeah, Love um, it. so, um, yeah, so what I did was I just basically changed all of the words. And what mm. I, in retrospect, I should have, I should have tried to be Pedro. But I should have tried to. T- t- no, 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 no. See, that's okay. No, you should try to be you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I did. Interpret Pedro but the I way ain't that. you. <laughs> I ain't learned it, man. But you did it. <laughs> yeah, I did do because it, it was you. Me? It was you. Make some noise for me. <laughs> Yo. And 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 can't nobody over here say that shit wasn't believable. Y'all but, was looking at yeah, Nori. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's yeah, him. Yeah, that's what he yeah. do, right? 100 percent believable. But let me just let me ask you, you've been on Oz. Right. How did you get that role? I auditioned for that motherfucker. You auditioned? Yeah, I auditioned. There's this lady, Alexa Fogel, who's a casting person for a lot of major networks. Yeah, she did a lot of stuff for HBO. Brand. She's um she's a beautiful lady. Beautiful yeah. lady, man. But she raw. And she let you she let your ass know. Right. I got a story about her. So Let's go. when I auditioned for Oz, I'm still green, whatever, whatever. And honestly, I think I really got the part because she pushed for me. Mm-hmm. Love her for that. Mm-hmm. Um she's um same shit with Weebay. Uh mm-hmm. Clock. Uh mm-hmm. Hassan? Yeah. yeah, shit. He, he, he knows about her as well. We always audition for her. We're her guys. She calls us in for all kind of shit. Um, if you get the Alexa uh, seal of approval, you good. So I'm on the set of Oz now, and I'm 
I'm ready. Right. You know, I ain't been to jail, but I know what jail is, nigga. <laughs> I'm about to show these niggas what it is. <laughs> yeah. Get on that set, man. See dudes resting, knocked out. It ain't nothing like the show. Right. Nothing like the show and shit. But as soon as that shit said action, mm. and I seen the actors doing their thing, I was like, okay, this shit's serious. Right. I got to step my shit up and shit. Right. Right. Why am I here? <laughs> okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Now, my first scene that I had was with Lord Jamar. Jamar was already on the show. Yeah, he was, mm -hmm. yeah. Shout out to Lord Jamar. Well, Greatness. Lord Jamar. Brand Nubian. Um, so the scene called for me to be in the visiting room with Mums. Rest in Paradise, Mums. That's po the poet Nube. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Um, and Rest in peace. it was supposed to be a hit on Lord Jamar, who ain't fucking with nobody in there. Now, you had the black Muslims. You had the gangsters. You had the white Aryans. Then you had the Christian dudes. Mm -hmm. Lord Jamar was for the Fox Nation. Right. right. The guards. He was right. by himself in there. So everybody trying to kill his ass. You talking about the show? The show. All right. Yeah. But the way he's it, I'm it sorry. Like you this shit is real. Oh, yeah. No, because <laughs> yo, Jamal, <laughs> Jamal was killing that shit, you nigga. You like, he was killing that shit, and I felt bad I had to do him dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm in the visiting room. The scene is me in the visiting room with mums. I'm visiting mums. Uh -huh. He's in the visiting room at the same time visiting with his chick. Okay. I'm supposed to do a hit. I'm a visitor. I'm supposed to pull a shank from under the table, walk over to Lord Jamal, Stick him, bam, bam, give him the poke action, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I do it. Now, uh, here's another thing. Fun fact, Steve Buscemi, who plays Nucky Thompson yeah. on Boardwalk, yeah. he directed the episode. Oh, wow. I love okay. this motherfucker, well, right? Okay. This is what, every time I do something with acting and I learn something new, shit make me want to do it more. He says, that was good, but you're moving too fast. Mm. Slow it down. Got it. He don't know I'm green. Right. So slow it down to me means. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That kind of shit. You know? So, action. That's what me and mom's talking. I grabbed this shit, but I'm not animated with the slowness, but I'm moving a little slow. Do it. Sits me down. Steve doesn't say shit to me. Nothing. He goes to the prop guy. See, the problem was this. The shank under the table I was grabbing it too fast. I'm not even looking. looking I'm for it, grabbing right. it too fast. Instead of him having to keep telling me to do it or to, you know, to stay on my ass right. about it and maybe fuck with my confidence, he goes to the grip and tells the grip, move it. Doesn't tell me, though. Mm. At all. Doesn't tell me shit. Mm. Okay. Action. <laughs> oh, that's dope. He forced to slow down. He got what he wanted. He got what he wanted. That's hard. He got what he wanted. Though. And, I, and me, oh, mine was blown. Mine was blown, bro. And that makes me think, like, when they do these horror movies with these kids. Right. How are they, they really them scaring them? Yeah. Are they really scaring them? Yeah. Because I know they really scare the actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. I know that for a fact. You know, that tension and shit. You know, some of those screens are, you know. Right. But sometimes they scare the shit out their ass. Yeah. I know they do. So I'm wondering how they do that with the kids. Hmm. That's the last thing I let my child do. Act. Or pun crazy. intended. Are you a method actor? No. No. Not a method actor. Hell no. That method shit. man is when not I lead a, a set, actor. Davis McLean ass still be there in that suit. Yo, I worked with a method actor one time. Who did you yeah. say it was? You said who it was before. Yo, the motherfucker did not break character. They don't. He was. Like they but go to the longer. set, huh? It takes longer to shoot with them because them and the director are always having back and forths between. It's just a lot. But go yeah, ahead. he 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 stayed in like he stayed in character. Um, DMX had called me, and <laughs> DMX was like, "Yo, come to the crib." So when um I'm I'm around and his, his, I forget his, his Matt Schwartz or something like that. Mm. So he he um he he plays in Fast and Furious and shit. Mm. So he, he's like he's like was that the MX that just called you? I was like yeah. So he was like all right cool. So I want to break character tomorrow. Can I come hang out with you and DMX? <laughs> and like he had to tell me Daddy, that you won't yeah. be meeting the other guy. You don't know you don't know me personally right now, Nori. <laughs> You, all, all you're meeting is this guy. Yeah. And he would he would come on character. I mean, he would come on set and he would be the jail guy. Because this, this is Treasure of Seven Monies. Mm -hmm. not, not the greatest movie I ever did. But but uh, I, 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 that's when I learned method acting. Bro, um, you can't put a price on what those method actors do. They but, just become that character and that's it, right? But actors, 
even theater actors, I believe, they can't stand the motherfuckers. <laughs> the process just takes so much longer, but it's great. When it works, it definitely right. works. Okay. When it doesn't work, it's like, see, I told you. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers want to sit around and discuss this shit all day. We should have just been shooting. The whole but, fucking but, time. But, but that has to take a toll on their mental. No, like, it, to, it, to be it, in, it that, does, yeah, in that yeah, role. It does, but if I'm playing the homeless man, I'm not going down I don't and sleep yeah. out in the right. street for more. No. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I'll just revert back to my childhood. We was always damn near homeless anyway every month. Right. It's like, shit, got to scrape them dimes together. So, so first, you on Oz. Oz is classic. Oz is dope. But then you get the opportunity to do The Wire. Yeah. You want to know the you fucked wanna... up part? I got a story for that Let's shit. Let's go already. We uh, here. So I go do a, uh, a movie called Brown Sugar. Brown yeah. Sugar, baby. Right. And they like, Brown Sugar, meth, you ain't in Brown Sugar. Exactly. Because I made the cutting room floor. Mm. This is I, I just got to put this shit in the context. Went and shot the movie, but wasn't in the movie. This is the movie with most deaf, yeah. Yeah, Tay exactly. Diggs, and all Yeah, I'm yeah. um, about to say I ain't see you. We bay. Uh, <laughs> you're right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my nigga Hassan, yeah, we bay, we bay. He was there. I call him we bay too. That's fucked up. I'm glad I'm not the only right, nigga. Right, right. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only nigga. <laughs> so, okay. I call him Clock and shit because of Clockers. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I remember Clockers. Um, so he was there, too. He was supposed to play, like, my assistant. He put Child in, too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He's supposed to play my sidekick assistant in the scene and shit. Mm -hmm. Now, if anybody know Clock, Clock ain't nobody fucking assistant. Nah. Right. At all. Mm -mm. At all. Nah, nah. That's, that's just not in his character. It's not mm -hmm. in his DNA. He ain't nobody mm -hmm. fucking assistant. So he didn't like the shit. He didn't like the scene. He didn't like the words and all that shit. So he left. <laughs> when he left, I stayed, did the motherfucking thing, one, two, one, two, blah, 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 blah. Now, I was supposed to audition mm -hmm. for the fucking wire that day, but I did the fucking movie. Brown Sugar. Right. Uh -huh. Clock went and auditioned. For the wire. And got. And got it. We bay. Weebay. I'm not saying I would have got Weebay, but I would have been on the fucking show from the ground up. Shit. Right. I, at least I, think so. I ain't gonna lie, man. You was a foul nigga on the wire, too. Yeah, I ain't gonna I lie. Fucked up. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. But the thing about Cheese was, <laughs> what people couldn't understand is Cheese was a survivor. He was just trying to survive, man. You gotta understand you the, got the backstory. Uncle popped in there. But you gotta understand the backstory <laughs> behind a person. <laughs> what would make a person do something like that? If you think about it, what would make a person do something like that? He liked the cheese. He didn't have a choice. Because mm. if he wouldn't have gave his uncle up, who was they going to kill first? Thank you very much. Nobody, Damn, look you got to like see that. the nuances of what's going on here and shit. Cheese mm. is a fucking survivor. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, kill that nigga. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. I still see Marlo. I see I call him Marlo. Mm -hmm. Jamie. I, mean, I, I don't trust Jamie. him. Jamie. <laughs> like, you don't trust him, right? Oh, but no, no, no. Jamie got that face, though. He got that face, like, though. Like, like, nigga, yeah. like, I don't play. I ain't about yeah, yeah, no like, games. I don't know if he was ever acting. I'm not sure. Even when he's smiling. <laughs> yeah, he he like, he, he and he's prolific with them hands and feet. Don't <laughs> yeah. play with that man. He's he prolific. Looked, um... But now you on power. Mm -hmm. How the fuck you keep just getting these roles? And this is a run. Black people love me, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> they love me. Um, honestly, it's the it's it's a, just a testament to the work ethic and shit and um, luck of the draw. Mm -hmm. Um, because I mean, you look at someone like LL Cool J. Mm. I just and, spoke to him today. That's yeah, crazy. and if you Tech bring his name up in certain circles, a lot of people. Don't know that he was a rapper. He, exactly, right? right? They don't know these these facts about him and shit. Mm -hmm. Or that he's been consistently working yeah. nonstop since he was 16 fucking years old. It's crazy. He's on a show, NCIS, that has been on now for how long? He's he's him and Ice T doing him and numbers. Ice T yeah, killing yeah, yeah, yeah. straight yeah. fucking numbers yeah. and shit, right? Yes. But people, at least our community, some of us do, especially our age range, we know, because right. you know, hell out, nigga, the nigga's like fucking golf up. Right. But people came up after that, they don't know that. Right. They don't watch NCIS. I mean, I don't watch the shit. You know what I mean? Not saying it ain't a good show or a great <laughs> show. I just, it's just not my kind of shit. Mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to so, have a so-called hiatus where people didn't see me. But I was the same as LL, consistently working. It's just right. that just because you didn't see me right. doesn't mean I wasn't. Mm. And when I got the call for Power Book 2... That came out, I don't know where that shit came from, man, but I was ecstatic right. until I wasn't. 
Because I, I was like, okay, do we know what the part is? They was like, no, we don't know what the part is yet, but we're going to get it soon. Mm. I get it, and I'm like, I'm about to murder some shit. I'm about to kill shit. Watch, I'm going to be worse than fucking Ghost and Tommy put together. <laughs> what? Who's Kanan? Watch this shit. Mm -hmm. I get the script. It's the lawyer. And it's this dialogue, dialogue. Now, I like monologues. You know, I, I fucks with monologues and shit, but it's a lawyer, nigga. Right, yeah. It's and there's, there's certain... You know, inflections, uh, dialogue that you have to have, uh, uh, and that nuance mm -hmm. that I was talking about with why people thought Cheese was a foul nigga, but Cheese was saving his own ass in the midst of no, giving I'm not up you get his away uncle. With that. Cheese was still a foul nigga. He definitely was. We ain't gonna lie. We ain't gonna lie about that. <laughs> I'm fuck with you. We ain't gonna lie about that. <laughs> okay. Damn, I, I lost my face. The, the, the lawyer, the lawyer, because, you, you, yeah, you said Yeah, okay, that. so, yeah, I was like, damn, so now I'm a little deflated. I'm like, they want me to play a lawyer? I'm nervous as shit. All right. No, I was like, yeah, fuck that. Wait a minute. I just did my acting classes, and we did a scene where um, what they do is, in the acting class, they'll give you a scene partner, and you guys will have a week to work on a scene from an actual movie. Okay. The actual movie that I worked on with my scene partner mm -hmm. was Philadelphia. Oh, shit. Oh. I played the Denzel part, okay. and he played the Tom Hanks part. Okay. Okay. And it's their first meeting when Tom Hanks comes into his office, okay. and they're talking. Funny shit, though, because... Uh, He's very, if you look at, Denzel's a master. If you look at his body language in the beginning, it's money. Money just walked in the door, so he's very engaging. Blah, 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 blah. Tom Hanks says, I have AIDS. It's like, he's, you know, he catches him at first, but then it's like, stay composed. Hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, start wiping your hands and shit. Like, cause people <laughs> right. didn't know mm -hmm. right. what yeah, it, back then. But yeah, exactly. he's doing these nuances that you won't pick up on right. unless you actually, and he makes you feel that shit. Mm -hmm. That's where I want to be. Mm -hmm. Where I make a person actually feel Those that details. shit. Like, you ever watch a, a fucking horror movie and somebody get their arm chopped? We know this shit is fake, but you still go, yeah. mm. come on. Like Scarface. Yeah. Thank you. We knew Scarface wasn't real. You get to that level, so this is me no. thinking that level when they throw me this lawyer part. Mm. Um, Genius. Genius. I go toward the audition, and first person I see when I'm in the audition is Banger. This is the dude that plays Chris Parlo on The Wire. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker got it, because he act act. He do right. theater all that. This nigga act act. <laughs> I didn't know he was there to be the teacher. I thought he was there to be the lawyer. I go in. I got on a red sweater. I got on a fucking uh, collared shirt uh -huh. under the red sweater. This is my lawyer look and shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I don't even know the suit. Yeah. But fuck, I, really, I don't own a suit that fit. <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, get through the audition. Mark is there, Mark Canton. Uh, Anthony Hemingway, who directed it. That's my guy right there, Anthony. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I walked out, I was like, that shit sucked. I didn't get the part. I called Sean. I was like, hey, I fucked up, Sean. I ain't even fucking get the part. I, I was messing up in there, and I sweat a lot. I had big-ass sweat stains under my underarms and shit. And two days later, I got the call back. Like, yeah, he got it. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Now I'm shitting in my pants because I'm like, God, jeez, lawyer every week. Ugh, <laughs> ugh. But that first day I showed up because I was shooting another uh, TV show at the time with Kadeem Hardison called Teenage Bounty Hunters. Check that shit out on Netflix. Mm. Shit's hilarious. Damn and Kadeem still that. got it. Yeah. He still got it and shit. I um, had to fly. Well, I shot with them the first day I got there. Everybody was just welcome to do with open arms. Now, this is the same crew from Power. Mm -hmm. Michael grew up with all these people, so they know him. Mm. Notori mm. grew up with these people. They know her. They don't know me, though. Right. And like I said, embraced me with open arms, made me feel comfortable and shit to the point where there was no nervous energy. And we just got through that first day. Once I got through that first day, I was still nervous, but it started to wane or, or wean off a bit. Is that the right word? Wean? Yeah. Wean? Wean off a bit. And by the time I got to like the fourth episode, oh, I was there. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the funny correlation between that and the Twitterverse. We got a big ass Twitter following. And those first four episodes where I felt like I was nervous, people were like, look at Method Man, cringe. Look at Method Man, cringe. Method Man is a lawyer, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Method Man a lawyer. By the fourth episode, who does Davis McLean motherfucker? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wasn't Method Man no more. Right. <laughs> By the second season, I'm in the street, they calling me that shit. So, so, so let me ask you, the, how do you, um, 
a, a study for this role? Do you go hang out with a lawyer? No, I had a coach. Oh, is the coach. coach is the way to go. Yeah. So Matter of fact, my coach is Larry. You have to go to the law library? Larry. Larry B. Uh, uh, All right. Now, now, Larry was the only black person, uh, only black star in Revenge of the Nerds. Think about it. Oh, my home, homeboy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. Lamar. Yeah. Lamar. Yeah. Lamar. And contrary to the point, he loved pussy, so. Okay. You know, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, wasn't ready, man. Like, wasn't ready, man. man. Fuck that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so he's your coach? coach? Yeah, that's that's my coach. And um That's dope. Dude has a way of of doing things that, you know, we speak, he speaks the language. And I'm not taking away from any other coaches, but he, he kind of speaks my language. He he talks in a way that simplifies things for me that I can understand it. Oh wow. You know what I mean? Wow, I would have never Does he coach you for each scene? Or is it just well, like every general episode coach? that um, I was doing? I would call him for a session, and we would go over it. Oh. Yeah, and he's a good guy, man. A lot of love for that guy, man. He he um he took good care of me and shit. I mean, I got an NAACP uh, image award for that shit. You know what wow. I mean? So he knows his shit. He knows his shit. Mm. Now, if you had a chance to to, to pick, would it be rapping or or acting? I can't pick. Can't pick? Because I, 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 I'm uh, like I said, being a creative, that doesn't limit me to just rapping or even just acting. Uh, you know, I mean, think about it. Red Man is definitely a creative, right? right. And it didn't just limit him. That, I mean, he doesn't have to yeah. if he doesn't want to. And I, I agree with him 110%. That's my guy right there. If he don't want to take that shit, fuck that. Anybody try and stick him, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Period. <laughs> But you, um, you, you, but you would probably say that hip hop brought you to here to the, to yeah, the absolutely. Okay. Yes, yes, absolutely. But it doesn't tell the whole story of who I am. Right, shit. right. I mean, look at Red Man, for instance. It's like he rap, he DJ, right? And he jump out of airplanes. Yeah, yeah he's crazy. He's creative, this though. This guy diving like a motherfucker, man. Shit is crazy. He's a creative, though, because yeah. he's painting whole fucking landscapes while he's floating in the air <laughs> right. like this. He's becoming one with himself, except the painting now, the the animation and the the inspiration is drawn inside now. He doesn't right. have to inspire anybody else. Now he just inspires himself. And when you're there, can't nobody stop you, man. Mm -hmm. For real. We got a quick time with slime or no? Yeah, of is course. We ready? We ready? All right. Well, I'm, I'm, but who's, who's, I ain't drinking shit. No, 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 we got no, no, we, we going, we going, hey, Look, Who's Sunny. your designated drinker? You could pick somebody to drink for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah, he'll drink for <laughs> you. Sonny's trying to take me. Okay, yeah. I'll take it. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we ready? Mm -hmm. I get, damn, E. Shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, the cannon called us, too. Well, it's funny too because your list come and go. I got one too and shit. I got a little your, one. Yo, shit. Yeah. Look, let me tell you because they taught me this shit. It's, <laughs> no, no. This is the, that's, that's, through, the, through here. Not here. Not here. Stop. All right. I'm going to. Oh, listen, you my acting coach. I now. still can't. I still you can't. You and say the guy certain, the Look, son, I still can't say certain words. Like what? They got to come up and then I can tell you. Like, I, I can't. People laugh at me every time I say coffee. Why? He said it's say, fine. What? They, I said it's fine. It's yeah. coffee. Okay. Yeah, he yeah. said it's fine. What? Sometimes coffee? I say coffee. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, but that's some that that's some Italian shit right that, there. That's, that's my. Exactly. Yeah, people be telling me I'm Italian. That's that. Yeah, shit. but you got that. That's yeah. That's that's see, not I a list. Do that, but see, I do that with Davis McLean. Okay. I had to, instead of saying that's that's ours, I say that's ours. It's ours. Yeah. If I, instead of saying I want a glass of water, say I want a glass of water. All right. And that, nope, that's not my daughter. That's my daughter. It sounds like some a Boston accent there. Sounds like I'm never gonna get this. <laughs> yeah, that's easy <laughs> shit. That's easy <laughs> shit. All I did was copy Cali niggas. Okay, okay, okay. And gangsters, they talk like that. You know what the crazy thing I just seen the other day that um, the Dub C was like the the, the yeah for uh, Denson. Dem yeah, for oh, Denson. Yeah, yeah that, I, I thought that was amazing, man. That was dope. Uh, Dub C, I haven't spoke to him in so long, man. Wherever you yeah, at, out there, man. We need dub, you on Green dub, Tech. I know, yeah. a rumor, got some stories, nigga. Now, there's a rumor with you on Soul Plane that that you kind of like flipped on people for not taking their acting gig, gig serious. 
Nah, that wasn't me. That nah, hell no. No, Jesse Terrero wasn't having. Jesse runs a tight ship, man. Oh, okay. You know, I didn't do anything of the sort. You know. Okay. Um, if anything, um, that was Kevin's vehicle, but Snoop stole that movie. Mm. Snoop stole that movie. That fucking Captain Mac. He was killing that shit, <laughs> nigga. I think a lot of that shit was covered off the top of his head. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Uh, yeah, a, man. He's an amazing motherfucker, man. Do, do you think we need a soul plane in real life? No. <laughs> but I tell you what, I, I do have a suggestion, though. I want, I want, um, I want they a should have designated flights for people with children mm. and animals. You killed that, man. Because, um, you know, I, I love kids. So you say all children is on one flight? Like, it, it should be a designated flight for people with children. Just Period. children, okay. People and with children. Just dog. You know what I mean? Diego. <laughs> yeah. Well, my yeah, friend like, Diego, yeah. he wants to yeah. bring his dog everywhere. Um, he got to relax. And I have nothing against <laughs> the animals. Right. The animal community, the animal loving community. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have nothing against the children. But, but it can be an inconvenience sometimes. And... That Sometimes it'd be that big ass dog. They'd be like, "It's a puppy." It could be no, a, yeah, it ain't a yeah, puppy, motherfucker. Exactly. This and nigga's sixteen years old. I have a fear of big dogs. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. been bitten before, I've, I've and been... I've been chased a lot. Mm -hmm. So I have like this little fear of big dogs and shit. So if I have to sit next to your big dog, and I'm not going to be afraid of, I'm, I'm pretty sure <laughs> the dog is well behaved, but it's making my experience uncomfortable. Yes. You know, and I pay just as much, or right. if not more, for my seat than you did. And if the dog has an accident. Yeah. We have to ride with that. And I heard that the uh, person that has the dog is responsible for it. Now, I've seen people have their dogs in the airport. Oh, when you say accident, you're talking about taking the not yeah. me. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, not oh, I mean. Bad. Yeah, one oh, of taking those. Taking the shit. Taking the sister. <laughs> taking the those. sister in the bomb schism. Now, the thing with the kids, now, it's not so much with the kids, because sometimes kids, their ears pop, and it, you know, drives them freaking crazy. Right. Mm -hmm. But if your child is constantly screaming, no. I want it. Right. <laughs> Let me, you know, jumping out and doing things. I got things toddlers. I've flown with toddlers recently, so I know. And or just, you know, just the kick in the seat thing. And you're sitting there on your phone. <laughs> it, what I can't say anything to this child. No, that, you, can't. That, you can't. You don't say anything to the child. And honestly, real men don't say anything to women. Mm. Right. And and especially not in a confrontational yeah, manner. Right. So yes. now I'm stuck. With this this badass kid, and I'm saying, oh, I'm saying all kind of foul shit in my head. Like, <laughs> if you was mine, I'd beat the shit out of you. I would take you in the bathroom, pants down. I would go to town on that little ass. Close. And, and, you know, I think that they should have their own flights, period. So, we're making a Dream Champs airline. Bro, you know, I don't think the Drink yeah. Champs Airlines gonna have the, the kids. The kids. Yeah, I flew to New York. No, not to New York. I, damn. No, bro, just flying out of Orlando. Period. Oh yeah, because the Disney kids. World. Yeah, kids, all up in just being in that terminal. <laughs> right? I think you just that got carpet. traumatized recently. Nah, that carpet, that carpet, and that little round area when you get off them trains. That carpet is so worn the fuck out. It, it, look, them babies be in there tearing that place the fuck down, and this is what they do. Yes. Tell, tell me if I'm lying. Mm -hmm. This is what they do. All the colorful shit be right. As soon as you get off that yes, plane, yeah. all the colorful shit be right there. Candy, toys. <laughs> it's like, we you do have spent like 1500 already in the park <laughs> over two days getting your kids all kind of shit that broke the second day. <laughs> Now they got this shit in the fucking, and it's for double. You ain't even in the park, it's for double in the motherfucking airport, so fuck them. Hands reach too, so yeah. grab it. <laughs> no, you should see the kids falling out, parents dragging their kids away from the fucking, you know what I mean, the little Minnie Mouse toy, the little girl like this, like she dead, the parents just dragging up, you know them leashes? Got the leash like this, the arm just like this. Ah! <laughs> then you get that cool mom. <laughs> that little this cool white mom. Yeah, yeah. Cool as hell. She just left the baby there. <laughs> <laughs> left the baby there. <laughs> It's like, okay, Kara, I'm going. You, that's what you're going to do. Okay, mom's gone. Bye, Kara. Walk the fuck off. That baby girl stood there crying for a second. She was watching her, though. As soon as she got too far, she got up like, ah, started running right behind her. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. All right. All right. I think you want to explain the rules? Yeah. I think we're, you know the rules. We're going to give you two choices. Uh, if you pick one... We good, but if you say both or neither, we drinking. Okay. But we drinking for you. We all, all drinking, right. yeah. Nice. Well, you drinking your okay. juice. 
By the way, I'm not gonna lie. At the video set, you came to my hood. You mm -hmm. held me down. You asked me for two bottles of Ace of Spade. Mm -hmm. I gave it to you, but then you forgot them. So I want to make sure I, I was get, gonna put them in my. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm gonna make sure because I think you asked for your wifey. Yeah. And and by the way, I, I I had to make sure you gonna leave with these two bottles this time. Okay. So how I get it on the plane? Um, you put it. I, you know, all you gotta do. Give it to Carol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are there. Because oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I've got, seen them. If it's not duty free, because they'll take. No, the no, no, no. Oh, if you got, if you got, if you got, if you got the um um, what is that shit called? Um, oh, if you, you if you put in, if you checking in the bag. If you checking in the bag, if. So then, yeah, so then we gotta send it to him in the mail. Yeah, I'll mail it. We'll send it to you in the mail. I ain't right. forget. Right. I want you to know yes, I'm a sir. real nigga. Yeah, because I was gonna you, take you, that you won't ask me for nothing. So when that one thing you asked me for, I've never forgot. And I yes, remember sir. you putting the bottles back because the director wanted it to film, mm -hmm. film it, and then you forgot. You, you, you. Yeah. And by the way, I want who I came there with though. I, yeah, by your goddamn. Self. By my goddamn. Let me tell you something, Matt. You, you my friend, but that never, that never downgrades. My fanness for of you, I it never know. downgrade. It never takes away from how great you are. I and appreciate like I'm you, just bro. letting you know, bro. Yeah. You are one of the greats. My you are nigga. a goat. Thank you. you are a real one. Thank you. You you, you ain't a liar. You are you, every yeah, my, my every word. every motherfucking encounter I've ever had with you has always been pleasant. Has always been real. And I really appreciate you, face Thank to you, face, North. man. man. And, and let me say something real quick. Yeah. One of the few people that since the day, he doesn't remember the day I met him, but since the day I met him, mm -hmm. he said my name right. Yeah, he has I to. Got, I got a drop in 94 at How Can I Be Down from him, and he said it immaculately. Because you've been effing for a long time. Effing. <laughs> They've been saying effing for a long time. Guy. He said like it's E E F F N N. And we're going to play the drop. The I'm going to play the drop. I said it in the car, and I was like, Raz, how you say his name, Raz? <laughs> Raz was like, he don't like when you call him effing. <laughs> yo, um. yo, yo, Crazy Hood Mixtape presents another D D J J E E F. F N N mix mix take take hing. This is your nigga John John, Mr. Meth. Word out, Wu Gambino still mobbing, Killer B still swarming. Fuck it, we gone. Peace. Look, that's my boy Diego. Yeah, he might have he might have been the most hypest we've had seven <laughs> years. He know all your lyrics. Yeah, play for the torture. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Get your ass cheeks spread out and shit. Rocks, put a hanger on the fucking stove and let that shit sit there for like a half hour. Take it off and stick it in the ass. Dave did that shit. <laughs> So this is you and Ray, right? Yeah. Go for, but that shit went further than that. We was we started mother jokes and all that shit. <laughs> One thing dudes don't know, Ray is hilarious, yo, nigga. Yo. Hilarious, son. Yes. Funny as fuck. Yes. Uh, and you know why? I, I went to Ray's uh, um, wedding mm. recently. Um, I had work. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I heard. Wedding, reception, everything. Uh, I want to send love to him and his queen. Real talk. Um, thank you for... For inviting me, me being part of that. That was hip hop royalty. I knew Chef was gonna turn up like that, man. That motherfucker always been a little Classic dawn, like you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah. Word. Hitchcock mixed with Capone. <laughs> and, I, and I believe his wife is Italian too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was I, Matt, Matt, it was I'm destiny. telling you, that shit was destined. I'm telling you, Meth. Yeah, this was so beautiful. Yeah, I, 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 me. Nobody, nobody had security. Everybody that was there, and yeah. we just, we just showed out for the brother, man. Let's make some noise for Ray Kwan. I love that for my brother. I want that for all my brothers. Okay, let, let, let's let's get to quick time of slime. Let's go, you okay. ready? Yes. Quick okay, go first. All right, Biggie or Big L? Why are y'all doing that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's, well, check this, right? Big L used to sell me my 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 wet. You know what I mean? Did you say Big, Big L? Yeah, sell Big you L. Wet? Big L used to sell me dust, nigga. He used to sell us our AP. <laughs> <laughs> None of us. Uh, Big get that shit from Big L up there. <laughs> With that being said, both. Okay, let's be drinking. Take a shot. Salud, salud. Oh, Mama Juana's back. By the way, I'm not gonna uh, lie to you. Yeah. I think it's the first time I've ever been shocked. 
like that on Drink Chance. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, we didn't understand at first. Because the know, explanation. I'm gonna be honest. Crazy. I'm gonna be honest. This, is the, this was like the first time. First time you didn't understand the slang of it. Because let me just. I tell you. I tell you. I didn't know Big L even knew who I was. And when Big L passed away, this drop came out of him saying, "I." Following with Nori and Cam was doing yeah. or something. He said something like that. Yeah. And I was I was yeah. blown away that he even knew who I was. But I did not know he sold us. See? And and y'all just thought fantastic. those but y'all just thought those was rhymes he was saying. <laughs> I was living nah, that shit. Was living that shit. <laughs> he was, was in the streets, yes. boy. Yes. For Rest real, in peace to both real. of them. Okay, yeah, go ahead, go to the next yeah, one. You gotta yeah. do this. All right. Pac or DMX? Man. Kid, you polarizing right now, man. It's like East Coast, West Coast, it's like they the same nigga. So, so both. Sounds like a shot both. to me. Both. Rest all right, you got to do the next four. That's all on you, E. Yeah, I'm going to skip this. <laughs> I'm this X, nigga. Miss that nigga. ODB or Biz Marquee? ODB. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Dirt dog. Damn, y'all, y'all really putting up. Fourth Disciple or True Master? Hmm. <laughs> Well, fourth decided that's one of Riz's pupils and shit, and he 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 took it pretty far. But I gotta go with True Master because True Master's still doing it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And he, you know, yeah, he's smart with that shit. He's a master with them, mm. with them with that music. Illmatic or ready to die? Mm. No, you skipped. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, BMF. Okay. No, I wanted to do Illmatic. I already did it. <laughs> Jesus, Al, dude. Illmatic already. Illmatic. And I said that they was going to ask that question, too. Now, who was with me? I said, yo, they're going to ask me. They probably ask me some shit like Illmatic or Ready to Die. Right. And I'm going to say some funny shit like I don't own either one of them fucking albums. <laughs> Or, or something like I never heard either one of them shits. No. <laughs> right? Some dumb shit like that, right? Both them shits is fucking classic. Hey, hell yeah. Right? Take both them shots. I'm taking a shot for that. There we go. Know. Both. Okay. Go ahead. Both. You got to do it. Wait, wait, wait. We got, wait. We got late bloomer. Come on now. Oh, you yep. took it early? Come on. You got to have a shot already. Really. <laughs> if you're going to represent Fosh. him, represent him correctly. Fosh. Fosh. Yeah, you represent meth right now. Don't, don't, don't make us look bad. Mm. Ice Cube or Scarface? Yeah. Cube, you my man, but I got to go with Face. Face has never done a bad album yet, man. I have never heard a bad Scarface album. Ever. Face is that dude. But it's almost like applying like you heard a bad... No, no, I'm not implying that it's okay. I heard a bad Cube album. I'm just, just saying Scarface has been consistent over the years. Ice Cube has a lot more hats that he wears and shit. You know, so while Ice Cube might have been, you know, conquering Hollywood... Face was, you know, smile for me. Because you know EFN wants to argue you down right now. Nah, they're both on my top five. I can get it. You keep, you keep running with that. Yo, like. <laughs> you keep running with that. Ice Cube. Look, let me tell you. I no, love Ice Cube. I, lo I just love your love for Ice Cube. I'm going to tell mean, you I, like this. A, Ice Cube legit. was the only person that I know that when we went on the West Coast and did a show with him, the stadium was full of Mexicans. Full of them. They love that nigga like the Dodgers. <laughs> For real. That was hard. Because they love the Dodgers. RZA or Premier? Primo, you cool as shit, but RZA. <laughs> love you, Primo, but RZA. You got to have a home team. I like this one. Yeah, you want to take that one? J. Cole or Kendrick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm just taking a shot. I don't even... We're just taking a shot. That's for that? taking a shot. <laughs> I'm taking a shot. I don't even know who he Made me choke on that shit. Mm. Oh, pause. Slick Rick, Big Daddy Kane. Slick Rick, Big Daddy Kane. Um, damn, I should have said Big Daddy Kane and Rakim, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll say Big Daddy Kane and Rakim. Let's say that one. All right. All right. Um, right. Yo... 
Marrow. Uh, okay. I gave Kane a a, 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 a the cow box and um, Just, you know, I saw that. yeah. Now you know, giving him his flowers and he ain't seemed too enthusiastic about that shit because <laughs> he don't smoke weed. That's probably I, I, that's probably why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get it. This shit. But Kane a good nigga. Uh, you know, he, him and my him and my partner they they knew each other, so they was chopping it up. He got a bit distracted, but you ain't even thank me for that shit, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Rock well, I'm him. Thinking you, we thank you. We thank you. Rock him. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you. No, I love big. Daddy, man. I'm going to say both. Yeah, say okay. Both. Both. Um, Mary yeah. J or Mariah Carey? Mary. The Wire or Oz? Mm, it got to be The Wire. The Wire is the greatest show, uh, greatest uh, I, crime show ever made. I agree, yeah. Yeah. We but, just can't skip over that, though. Hold on. Mm-hmm. The Wire and all of power is probably... One of the best classic TV hood shows ever. Which one? I'm saying all, all three all of them. Together? I'm saying how, like, you know what? When I, I think a lot of it has to do now with the wire. I can speak for the wire. Those guys are from the community. Right. All of the actors shot not, on location. Not the actors, the fucking writers. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. writers. It was. It was yeah. I thought it was, it was the, the police. police. Nah, I thought it was the police. Yeah, it was. The, yeah. That was the main, one the main of them, guy. Ed Byrne is yeah. the cop. He was one of the writers. So too. Right David Foster. Simon worked at the newspaper. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, they, I, I like <laughs> fucking him and Melvin. Fucking people. That that's they fucking buddies. Melvin was one of the biggest fucking drug dealers in fucking Baltimore and shit. That's Avon? No, the oh. nigga that played the fucking deacon, the preacher. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he the real oh, deal. Really? That's him? That's him? What, the Avon? The deacon? The, the dude? The yeah. black one with the bald head? With the bald head, head yes. Yeah. You know what you know, up underneath all that clothes? He like this, right? That's an OG OG, like super OG right there. And fucking um, the nigga that played Omar, or, or rather the real Omar, he's in the show too. He was fucking um in the in, in the um R. I. P. Right. Well, the actor, the actor. Yeah. Nah, I'm not talking about Mike. He was in the scene with Mike. He was in the scene with Mike yeah. when Mike was in. They brought him the fucking the, the phone books and shit. The okay. dude with the glasses, the oh, big nigga. Oh, oh, oh. That's Omar. Oh, in the, in the jail, in jail. Yeah, okay. that's Omar. Oh, get the fuck yeah, that's out Omar. Of that. Damn, after you teach me too much. Oh, and he ain't gay. Just you know, FYI and shit. But though, like, and 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 the corner that showed the corner, they did that too. Corner, yeah, right. And that the was lead, based in Baltimore, yeah, as well. Now, Miss Fran, Franny, like played by Candy Alexander. Uh huh. She played Fran. That Omar and her married in real life. The real, the real, the real Fran and the real Omar. Wow. Holy moly! Right, at least at that time they was. I don't know about now, but yeah. Right. Yeah, and I met the real DeAndre, the the, the friend's son that was selling the drugs, then got strung out on it. Right. Oh. He was the he was the other Muslim cat. You had Brother Muzon brother that shot Muzon. him. Yeah, the nigga yeah. that was yeah. with him carrying yeah. the books. Yeah. That's DeAndre. Get the That's him. So I and this is me asking this out of pure fun facts, y'all. Out, out of pure innocence. Yeah. Fans. Did you know? The wire was that shit when you got hired to do it, or, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. you knew it, you mm-hmm. knew it. The first season blew everybody yeah, the yeah, fuck the first away. Season, it was a it blew season, everybody uh, the fuck away. Right. I got on on the second season. Yeah, I was late with was late. Pablo Schreiber, my dude Pablo. What's up, boy? Mm-hmm. He's dope. Um, and then that third season is what solidified it. What people didn't understand about the second season was you cannot tell the story of Baltimore and not include the docks. What is the second The second season is the construction. Yeah, all the, the, the docks and the docks. And the unions. The, docks, the, the unions, unions right. and all that. With, with the Greeks. Right. That's what we're so talking about. The, the pattern that everything. they followed was you saw from the drug dealer's perspective and yeah. the cop's perspective first season. Right. Second season, yeah. it was... No. no, that came later. Second season was the docks, yeah. right. the gangsters, the cops. And the Greeks. Because you cannot tell a, a story of Baltimore without including them fucking docks right. or else they would not have been true to form. Right. That That's third terrible. season was the education system. Mm-hmm. When they brought them kids in... Kids, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Oh, he was he been he was season, season one. That was season one. No, the fourth season was the newspapers. The newspapers. Okay. And all that yeah. shit. And then everything just came to a head. And the, the political side of the political also, right. the politics. Captain they all started the, getting into politics. How many right. seasons do I have? Seven? Five. Five. Because it's, 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 it's arguably the Sopranos, The Wire, uh-huh. Oz. Uh-huh. Eight, all HBO too, crazy. Yeah. Um, I, I, and but this, this is this is Alexa Fogel. All of them? Yeah. The Wire, 
Odds. Yeah, yes, that's Alexa. Yep. You know, I never seen Break It Bad. Band of Brothers. All of these shows. Wow. Is Alexa, she cast all of these. Oh, she killing the game. Yeah, she killing the game, man. And I mean, you know, at the end of the day, when these, like I was saying, when these stories are told by the people who are from the communities, I don't think you can lose, man. Right. You can't. You cannot. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Go to the next what's, one? what's the next one? New Jack City or King of New York? The acting is way better in King of New York. Way, way better. Whoa, in King of New York. In King of New York, the acting. And that's not taken away from New Jack City because they was killing that shit. Everybody was really... But if you... It's apples and oranges, really, because King of New York is just low-budget goodness. Whereas New Jack City had a little bit more of a budget. And I mean, Ernest... They had Ernest. He could, I mean, that motherfucker take lemons and make lemonade, you heard? He's a brilliant fucking director. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, I'm going to go with, damn, uh, shit. King of New York, the underdog. Fuck it. Okay. I like the way that shit ended. Conway or Benny the Butcher? You ain't getting me to do that. Both. Y'all drink, niggas. Uh, I ain't fucking with that one. Wake up, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one hit me. All right. Oof. Only built for Cuban links or Iron Man? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Both, niggas. Yeah. Both. Jesus. I got to go to dinner. Oh, man. Doo doo. How many shots we in right now? I think we're at five. Yeah. You drinking shoe polish. Go ahead, my nigga. So let's go. Going home. This is, that's what it's called. Oh, what? No, no, it's Mama Juana, but this, oh, this is a portable bottle. I like, I, I'm calling the shoe bottles from now on, man. I, I'm silly as shit. Yo. I'm going to see your publishing checks, though, every month. But uh -huh. I'm going to call that shit shoe bottles from now on. <laughs> uh, that was hard. All right, yeah, you want to go to the next one? Oh, shit. I think I, oh, but he changed it on the other one, so hold on. Yeah, he changed it. Mm -hmm. yeah, he uh, Karis one or... Mass days. You can't do that. It got to be Chris. It has to be, even though Ace was a big inspiration behind my rhymes back in the day. I was biting his shit, too. But you got to go with Chris, man. Knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everyone. Woo! That ain't even fair. Oh, great ass. Good. Go to the next one, T. Okay. This is movies. Master Killer or Five Deadly Venoms? I'm gonna go with Matt. Ooh, you mother Gordon Lou is that nigga. How you gonna answer her? Man, Gordon Lou is that dude, man. But the, but the Five Deadly Venoms is like, that's like the fucking, just like that, that's that. If I tell anybody to start their fucking journey with those movies, it would be that one. But that, that, Master Killer gotta be into the 36 Chambers. It has to be. I mean, I'm sorry to change the subject. Oh, but... shout out to Ghostface just because he told me to do that shit yesterday. He's like, just say my name and shit on that. <laughs> shout out to Ghostface. Ghost, Ghost, Ghostface. 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 Ghost, Ghost, Ghost. 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 Shout out to Ghost. Ghosty Ghost. But I, I, I remember my first experience with Wu-Tang and y'all incorporating the Kung Fu flicks, the movies in there. And I remember that being like the most genius shit ever. That RZA motherfucker again. So that was RZA's idea? That's RZA. That's RZA all day. I mean, we were sitting around watching them shits. And that's all he used to do. He had them shits in, like he had shits that wasn't even in English. Word. With subtitles up underneath that motherfucker. Man, RZA is an ill motherfucker. So, I mean, the vision was already there. He knew exactly how he wanted to do it. He implemented it. And I mean, like, I don't know if y'all familiar with A-Team, but when Hannibal used to say, I love it when the plan comes together, yeah. right. that's exactly what that shit feel like, nigga. You want to take a little dog off that cigar and shit, like job well done, man. Murdoch was my dude in A-Team. I'm be honest, RZA out drunk the shit out of me in Paris. He yeah. came straight up to me. He was like, what's up? Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. He had Grey Goose and some Japanese shit. And I was just like, Let's go. Oh, Rizzo, uh, we need you Rizzo, on drink chest. Rizzo knows how to focus his chi. Yo, I ain't so gonna lie to drink, you. He'll drink a whole bottle, be drunk, and be like, and disappear. Drunken master. <laughs> <laughs> drunken master. I swear to God. And be like, straight. He, 
I don't know if he knew I was going to be there. I was like, I, and I got it on film. It's the first five I, seconds I, I of it. it. I, I go, it. yo, where's the man? He's like, what? Of course, I got you. I got you. Mm. But as soon as those cameras went off, he was like, let's go. My and it was like, and in my it. mind, he was saying, like, I'm going to beat Nori and <laughs> drink it tonight. And he said, boy, a smart, <laughs> yes. fly motherfucker. Yo, oh my God. I ain't going to lie. Oh, man. I know, I, know, I know all of you niggas. That's what's crazy. I got... We got a great life here, man. <laughs> we, got a, we know Wu Tang Clan. Every one of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. The um, funniest shit about the whole shit is like Queens. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Synonymous with hip hop. You know what I mean? Yes. MC Shan, mm -hmm. the whole Juice crew up to mm -hmm. you guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, even with Nicki Minaj now and shit, mm -hmm. it's, 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 mm -hmm. it's lit. Queens has always been lit. Yeah. Brooklyn, same shit. Big J, Fab. Mm -hmm. The list goes on and on. You know, the Bronx, where it started at. You got Joe, Pun, L and them niggas. You know what I mean? Harlem, Harlem dude, they numbered. People still, you know, to be from Staten Island and the, not just be from Staten Island, but to be respected in this genre, is a beautiful fucking thing and shit because for real, even to this day, I, I I be on the Instagram and shit, and they was like different shoes for different boroughs, <laughs> right? They put the shit up for Brooklyn, Black Air Force One, <laughs> yeah, right, it's a foul shoe, man. right, right, yeah. Queens, <laughs> I think Queens had like I had an Air Jordan or something like you that, maybe Jordan? the four yeah, or something like I don't know, I can't okay. quite. I know Harlem was like that. That boot them niggas used the to wear. The, the fuck, no, not the, the old dingo boot. Oh, remember them shits, I'm niggas with the pony skin that. shit. <laughs> no, the long, Shaolin had. No, it, Shaolin <laughs> had <laughs> nigga. I think it was a, it was either a Croc or a Ugg boot. Damn, <laughs> one of Damn, those. They, they be trying. That shit? They be trying to shit on us, man, like real bad and shit. But then you know, ask anybody that came to Staten Island and missed that ferry. Mm. Not a good look. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Very true. I, I recorded a Mystic Studios at one point. Mm, Mystic yeah. shithole. Damn. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Mystic is dope. Mystic is dope. My bad. <laughs> My bad, this shit. <laughs> My bad. My bad. No, nah, it's nice in there. It's nice in there. They were like, yo, I, I got him in there. They was like, yo, you know Wu Tang do they shit here. I was like, word. I thought I was in lit. I was like, oh. <laughs> they lied to me, man. <laughs> they lied to me. <laughs> oh, shit. The meth lab open for business. The, to uh, the okay. toilet fixed. Okay. You got the toilet okay. fixed, nigga. Y'all come in there, use the bathroom now, baby. <laughs> this, this, this is going to be a funny one. Red Man or Busta Rhymes? You don't do that to me and shit. Busta, my brother from another mother, but Red Man all day, I can't do that shit. And that ain't all taking right. shit away from Busta, because Busta just got a lifetime achievement award. Yeah. Right. But Red Man, shit. Now, and I know you know. battle Red Man in verses, but if they was to offer you to battle Busta, I don't even like going on stage after Buster. Can't be. <laughs> Serious shit. Buster take all the air out the room, as he should. As he should. He ain't come in the game like that. He yeah. consistent as fuck, right? <laughs> yes. Yo, Buster, there's nothing that I don't he think. Fun out there. Like, whatever Buster put his mind to, he could do that shit. But when he in front of that crowd, that's his. Yeah. I don't care who performing yeah, that night. That crowd is fucking yeah. his. And he says he doesn't rehearse. I told him. He don't have to. Him is... You know the beautiful thing about it, right? Yeah. Him and Split. No, no, it's for real. Cause me and Doc do the same shit, right? So y'all don't rehearse? No, but I, you I perform with somebody. Y I'm serious. <laughs> you perform with with somebody for so long. Yes. That you learn the yeah. nuances of what they do. Doc do this move he used to do all the time on the goodness, right? So after a while, I started doing this shit. <laughs> and this shit. Like, uh, uh, uh. It became part of the routine. No, this is real shit. Yeah. Even that Superman level shit we did on the verses, we never done that shit before. That shit was made up on the spot. Right. Made up on the spot. What what would happen in the rehearsal for the verses, because we wanted to get our songs right, was I said, you know what, you should get a cape for Superman Lover. That's it. We didn't say what it was going to be, how it was going to be. But when I put the cape on him and I flung it back like that, I was like, wait a minute. It's kind of fly. That's kind of fly, right. right. <laughs> hey! 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 
That's true, brother. And, and regardless, you know, whoever had the best verses and all that, and I think the locks and the dip set one was the best yeah. by far. I by far. So I like the I like the Beanie Man one yeah, too yeah, and shit, but for a whole different yeah. fucking yeah. reason, bro. That was entertaining. <laughs> no, be, no when Beanie Man reason. took over and he started and he and he started doing Homie's verse on his mm-hmm. own song, mm-hmm. I went crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lie. Beanie Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Showmanship wise, again, locks. You, you could tell that they, I mean, when you come up under they the bad, right. no, but when you come up under that bad boy umbrella, that's a requirement. Mm-hmm. You know, they remember, they was with Puff first, mm-hmm. and Puff did tour tours. Mm-hmm. These ain't fucking, you know, clubs. These was right. arenas. Right. You got to have your shit together, birth control, all that shit. So them niggas is veterans, mm-hmm. period. But when you get two guys like myself and Doc, and, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Cause this motherfucker do comedy while you up there. I might do some fucking math. You never know what the fuck you gonna get and shit. And we don't sometimes. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we get backstage and be like, "Good show, my nigga." And we get that look like, "That's it. That's it." Yeah, I never. That's heard. fucking it right there. Now, Split. Now to get back to Buster, him and Spliff start have that same rapport. He told me that. And Spliff, Spliff is so in tune with this nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see it. Yeah. Yeah. You could tell sometimes that Buster do some new shit and Spliff will catch it out the side of his eye and catch it. Sometimes Buster end the shit too soon and Spliff will still be doing it, but it blend well. I swear to God. It blend well as fuck. Uh, to this day, 25 years I've been telling Buster, I don't. I think you rehearse, sir. He ain't rehearsing <laughs> shit. And he he's been telling me, shit. Nori, I've never rehearsed. Now, that's experience. Yeah, now, it's experience. The thing I loved about Buster was the leaders of the new school reunion. Mm, oh, yeah. I never thought I'd see that. Nah. No, they I got mean? a whole album. Lead us a new school. They got a whole album. Oh, that's dope. Recorded? Yeah. yeah. I got they, I, He got a flip mode album. He got a lead us a new school. I speak, you know, I speak the bus like almost two times a week. And that's why we're going to see Buster and 50 Cent in Nice, France. Drink chance will be on the way in October. And I told look at Kareem, look at this nigga no, putting it in for your flight right now. Okay, I see, I see you, Kareem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. We will be in Nice, France to go. I, um, you gonna we went be out to see, there in them streets. We went to see Wu, Wu and Nas in Paris. So now we gotta Y'all go. In, in Nice? Y'all no, going to Nice? Yeah, we're going to Nice. Yo, yo, that beach, the beach is all rocks. Yeah, we're going to October. But we ain't going to the beach. Out there. It's beautiful, <laughs> it's beautiful yeah. It's beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Holy moly guacamole. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's that, go to the next one, E. How high or belly? Two separate. Damn, I would have said how high or uh, half baked or some shit like that. Right, that you gotta, you gotta talk to Hazardous Sound. How high or half baked? <laughs> how high or half baked? Oh, you mean, oh, I got you. I'll say a correlation. Um, I like, well, I, I got more screen time than how high, so I'll say how high. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey. Video how music. Did you feel about how okay. high, too. Um, I think that I you can't some. blame DC or Little Yachty for um the premise. Okay. Um, MTV was very smart for doing what they did because the product was just sitting there. They got the rights, and you know it, uh, it keeps the name alive. So I'm not mad at it. Was it was MTV or Paramount. It was MTV. MTV. Yeah. I'm not mad at it and shit, but I think that Watch um, it. I don't think it was fair to those two guys. Mm. I think that his, especially DC, his first vehicle should have been something original because he's funny as fuck. Right. Did you watch yeah. it? No, I haven't seen it. Huh? I haven't seen it. Okay. I know what the script was. I, okay. Privy. All right. I'm moving on because I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> Video music box or your MTV raps? Mm. I'm going with Uncle Ralph. I gotta go with Uncle Ralph. Gotta go with Uncle Ralph, but see, Ed would do the same shit. I think. I think Ed Lover would do the same shit. I think so. Okay, yeah. Shout out to Ed Lover, Head Lover. Come on. Head he out Lover. Here. He out here, EFN. And it's like, yo, oh, he got, yeah, full, full, full pop. Everybody's of smoke. really me, but they Beijing. Full pop. Of smoke. No, 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 no. It's not, it's just for men. <laughs> it's just for men. Beijing break you out. Okay. It's a just for men. It's a just I ain't gonna lie. Let's effect. big up to Fat Joe and DJ Khaled. I don't know what they got going and tank, on. Tank's a part of that too, I think. Tank's a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, they they why they got blowing up. niggas up like that. That's terrible. No, bro. they posted it. They, they posted they it. Product. No, they got oh, a product. No, they got a product. They, they call they, you know they call that the male BBL. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gotta let this one go. 
<laughs> my brother, Fat Joe, DJ Khaled. Holy shit. That was Matt who said that. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. Nah, around. but they I'm can't fucking... hold us accountable yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. women been doing it for years, dying yeah, hair and shit, so. That's real. It's just okay. a look. That's all. Raekwon or Ghostface? <laughs> Raekwon or Ghostface? Both! Drink, motherfucker! <laughs> Drink! I like he does not hesitate on that. Nah. My nah, family, you, I, my I family. ain't gonna lie. The one thing that you know about meth is you are loyal, loyal. Yes, loyal, I am, loyal. sir. Yes, I am. Let me say something, because I know, like I said, I know everybody from Wu-Tang. Individually, I have relationships with every single artist. And the one thing that I could, I, I could see is... It was one point where, like, kind of like everybody was kind of like mad at RZA a little bit. Yeah. But, but I never seen you publicly ever say anything. I wouldn't dare. That's my nigga right there, man. RZA, like I said, I understand nuance. Mm -hmm. And I don't always get how things work, but when they're explained to me or when I have the epiphany and I get it, I can admit when I'm wrong. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to live longer that way. But be honest, you said that at one point you didn't really, well, not that you didn't understand nuance, but that you were more angry, like when it, when it came to Def Jam. Did that take yeah. time for you to get to that nuance or maturity? Yeah, yeah, and it started um, when I started doing my um, fitness journey. Because before you can start on the outside, you gotta start with the inside right. and shit. And I wasn't well, man. You know, I wasn't well. I had to let a lot of things go. And, um, Stop blaming people and shit. Right. Take mm -hmm. accountability for myself and take control. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing. When you do that, when you take control and you fully know that you're in full control, right. bruh, I punch a hole in the fucking wall right now. <laughs> shit. Now you look like you can do it. <laughs> no, you definitely, I like I can do you it. definitely look like a superhero right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, another thing that I've seen is you were the only one that had a job during the come up, everyone, you worked for Staten Island? I worked the majority of my time, yeah, but when I lost my job, I, I had to hustle myself. You didn't, you lost the job? I sent you. Yeah, I lost my job at the Statue of Liberty. The yeah. Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah. They Once fired I, you? No, they ain't fired me. I'm gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> okay. they, they, look, look, look. I didn't, I didn't see the that. Statue, the statue the funny, fired you? Nah, the Statue of Liberty fired this, 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 this the funny <laughs> shit right here. 19 years old, and I got into an accident on the, on the island, driving one of the um, heister trucks. A, a cart taking uh, big dumpsters of garbage to the other side of Liberty Island. Crashed my foot up, went to the hospital, and just never went back to work. I just didn't go back. I ain't collect didn't collect unemployment. Your job. Left nothing. Your job. I just you left. left your job. I just left. Yeah, I was on crutches. Right. What the fuck, I'm supposed to do? I was on crutches for like the whole fucking summer. Right. Miserable as fuck. Hmm. Miserable as hell. But I see then, the documentary um, when you came back. But you know the thing. The, this is the crazy shit because all my friends hustled. And the whole time they was out there hustling, I'm there with them because we smoking. Right. So I'm seeing them, how they hustle, how they do it, how they get away, all that shit, you know? And um, when I started, I just followed that pattern and shit. Mm. And honestly, I've been locked up one time for possession of, narco of a uh, control substance. Um, is weed a control substance? No, they don't consider. No they don't more. say that, right? They just say marijuana. They don't say controlled substance. Unless it was because I. Well, no, nah, I wasn't locked was up. With no, no, no. All the rest of my arrest was probably was mostly for smoking in public, mm -hmm. um, and having weed on me. But mm -hmm. that was possession mm -hmm. of a controlled substance. I only got caught once. Right. Um, the whole time I was, I hate. This is why when I when I be rhyming, I don't say too much about my drug career because I hated that shit. I wasn't no kingpin, didn't have any aspirations to be a kingpin. I was just trying to get money enough to pay the rent mm -hmm. or to buy a hotel room for the night. I respect To you. sleep in and shit. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, uh, when... You was drinking absolute straight, it burned. Yeah, that type shit. I was doing all kind of debauchery and shit. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> at the end of the day, I, I, I still had this talent. And when, like I said, luck of the draw. Niggas got nah, lucky because I, I didn't. I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. Staten Island. You know how yes. you grew up in New yes, York. Yes, you know, yes, like nobody yes. go to Staten Island, so they say. Yeah, so they say. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, let, let me let me let me just give you your flowers again. Um, what y'all did is phenomenal. What y'all did is un 
foreseen. It's never going to be duplicated. Um, I remember just hearing. I remember just like I remember I, like I remember being scared of you. Like me, literally, I was scared of you because you had an eye. I was like, "What's wrong with mm -hmm. eye?" No, I was eye. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Didn't, yeah. I, we Little looked. We was like, "Wait a minute." Like, what the fuck is in Staten Island? Right. Maybe that's why we didn't know. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. Like, holy shit. Now, my, now, mind you, Paul, not to cut you off. Uh -huh. Remember what I said about Big with the shirt? Uh-huh. And, you know, after so you he seen in the video, everywhere with that fucking eye, nigga. One day, girl around my way, a driller, love you, mother. Okay. She was like, take that stupid shit out your <laughs> fucking eye. You gonna fuck your eye up, and I ain't wear it after that. I took that bitch out. I ain't, I ain't wore shit. You call, I'm gonna be honest. Ghostface, too. Mm. And I, I was scared of Ghostface as well. Mm. Of the mirror. The nigga didn't show his face. Well, you niggas knew what that was. Nuance. Come on, Nori, nuance. But, Warrants. But, but I'm a fan. I don't, I don't, I, I'm not in the industry at all. So a guy is doing a verse, hiding his face? Yeah. Who the fuck does this? Yo, bro. <laughs> Holy moly guacamole. Called himself Ghostface Killer. And he called himself Ghostface Killer. <laughs> I always got to tell us. I always at, say it's we, a ghost and ghosts be looking at me like, no, you relax. We've been and at I was shows. Like, no, we've, no. Been, we've been at shows and Bounty Hunters showed up looking for this nigga. Man. I heard these stories. Come I heard on, these man. stories. Like this nigga had to win. And then, you know, so it was major when he came out with his Dolo album. Right. And the first thing he did in the video was what? Take his joint on. Yeah. Show his face. I'm right. free, nigga. Right. Oh, I, you know what I mean? The, since the face been revealed, right. game got real. Right. Mm. Come on now. Right. Ghost is that nigga, man. Yeah, ghost, 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 ghost. Think of a ghost race killer, man. <laughs> And I think that's that's the mystique of the Wu Tang right there, because you people constantly learn shit about us. The thing, the constant thing that I get is I didn't understand the words you motherfuckers was talking about back in the day, but the beats sound good. But as I got older, <laughs> yeah. But as I got older, it was like wow. And people explain shit to me, and it was like wow. Because that, yeah, Staten Island was its own barrel. It was and this is the beauty of it. It's like anybody that came to Staten Island, they found out real quick. Like these niggas is fucking crazy out here. Yep. Crazy. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Um, Y'all changed the game, man. Mm -hmm. um, so let me ask you about the beginning, right? And our white boys to beat y'all white boys up. Okay. That dollar white boys is different. The bingo. Y'all got it? You <laughs> nah, they different. Oh, she be still on Quick Time Slime. My bad. We almost done. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Nas or Jada Kiss? Nas or Jada? I'm on tour with Nas right now. It's a great story. Both. Take a shot. All right, gag. The next one, E. You don't want to do none of these, huh? Nah, see her, baby. Capadonna or Street Life? We don't do that. The fuck? Nah, both. <laughs> Yo, let me both. pick up the cat, man. You know, because... He taught I, me how to run. I kept saying to um you all night, I know everybody, but I didn't meet Cat till later. Yeah. After he came out of jail, mm -hmm. right? Um, Crazy shit is, you might have been in there with him. And, and didn't even know that's it. my nigga. That's what I was about to get to. Like he's like, and he's on the low. One of the funniest niggas in the world. Hilarious. Like don't let Cap start baking. Hilarious. He start. He will. He will. He will cut you the fuck up. Hilarious. Right, and yeah. lyrically one of the illest. And lyrically one of the illest. Uh, you throw on the though. instrumental. Cap can give you a ten minute freestyle. Yep. I put. I put money on it. Ten minutes straight. How long was Winter Wars? His verse on that. Seven. And he might have freestyled that. Don't play and with that. I don't Cap. know if you remember when we had Wu-Tang on. Yeah. Him and you, God, <laughs> I was in heaven. Yeah. Like, I don't know why, because I looked, and that's, that was brother. Yeah. Love. Like, you know how me and you go around yeah. sometimes? Like, niggas, see, I only go junior high school with niggas. They go back grade school, man. Yeah. You could tell. Deck, too. Tell. Deck go back grade school with them niggas, man. You could tell. You could real. tell. Okay, I'm gonna ask this one. <laughs> yeah. MOP or Mob D? I'm getting my drink ready. Yeah, y'all yeah, might as well, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> y'all know we... fame, fame, fame is. Fame and Billy, like, them niggas could have transcended and been, but yeah. they did not compromise for shit. At all. And that's why we love them niggas, man. At all. Big Real up. Up. They match out posse for life. And also, match out. also um, let me big up Havoc. I seen him the other day at Nas party. Big Hav, yes. He have, um, uh, birthday, and Havoc and Q Tip and everybody that I got to see people 
at Nas' birthday party. It was yeah. a real pleasure, man. Oh, and also, y'all, Sin have blessings, man. I mean, it may be over for a lot of people out there, but trust me, he yeah. still yeah. misses his brother, Absolutely. and that shit's still fresh for him. And Just send him a kind word, anything. I yeah, I know his Instagram. I always say that. I, I miss Prodigy. Um, Mm. Like, nah, yeah, Prodigy man. really, 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 really from Hempstead like me. Mm. Oh, damn, that's Long right. Long Island. That's the first thing you, when you Google you? They first thing that you, like you Google, man? Buck. They say, they say. Hempstead, I kept it a buck. And, and anybody that, that live in Pimpstead, right, from Rock Marciano. Right. Fucking Stove God from, from Long Island too, right? Stove God, I believe, is from Long Island. And uh, Rock Kim, you know, shout out to wine all my dance. wine dance niggas, man. Man, Raheem Booker. Word, word. Everybody in wine dance could fight back in the day when I was. You know, I went to wine they, dance they one time. They had three bodies on the floor and they kept barbecuing. I said, wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, there you go. We got. <laughs> like, we this got, is not the wrap up sign? Like, <laughs> we got. They just kept yeah. partying. I was just like, wait a minute. Yeah, but you <laughs> were saying about P. Yeah. You, you were saying so about. P, P, um. I really love P, man. I miss P. I miss you know, um, everything. And I was thinking about it the other day. And, and you're right. You know, people should reach out yeah, to Havoc. Yeah. Well, let me say, tell you, you something about P. Bum B. Bum B, too. Yeah, yeah. You Bum reach B out for him with Pimp. Yeah, yeah. yeah and also Dayla, man, because, yo, um, Dave's birthday was recent. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we on tour with them, and they, they still feeling it. You know what I mean? So, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. This? We yeah. should reach out to the Wu-Tang Clan because ODB yeah. loss is never going to be forgiven. Nah, nah, always, nah. We, I mean, will never be forgotten. Some of our mantra come directly from Old Dirty. Killer Bees came from Dirty. Killer Bees on a Swarm came from Dirty. Wu-Tang is from the Children came from Dirty. All, right. All of that shit. Most of our motherfucking bravado came from Dirty, man. He told us from day one, even if we didn't believe it, he believed it. We the best. Mm. We the fucking best. Period. And um, not to take away from those lists or nothing, you know, I've seen them, the crew list and all that, and I don't pay attention to those, but the fans are speaking louder than the list nowadays. And mm -hmm. Death Row, yeah, you know, salute to them. But the people have spoken and said that Wu-Tang Clan's number one crew. And um, Outkast, again, shout out to them, mm -hmm. love them. But the people have spoken again and said Wu-Tang is the number one group. Wu-Tang Wu against Outkast on Versus no. or Wu-Tang against Dungeon Family? Well, Wu-Tang ain't gonna do no verses. We got too many songs, man. It wouldn't fit. It would not fit. I don't think you can get us all in the room anyway. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, be, I'm keeping it a buck. I think Swiss and Timberland will get that bad. They will make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> God, I'm so sure they can. I think, I, 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 listen, I'm, I I'm absolutely sure. I believe sure. in Swiss and Timberland. I'm sorry. I know they've been quiet uh -huh. out there. But mm -hmm. I believe, I, I, hit, I hit Swiss, um, oh. Mm -hmm. Yesterday morning, and he hit me, yeah. I yeah. mean, Swiss been talking. Not, not about verses. But um, Wu Tang against what would you would you prefer Wu Tang against Outkast or Wu Tang against Dungeon Family? Wu Tang Wu against Outkast or Wu Tang against Dungeon Family? That Dungeon Family, they strong man, and Outkast is strong by themselves too. But I'm just speaking to the the people that you know take these lists and 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 speak validity. And Outkast is fucking dope as far as. Albums and and consistency and and Andre being the the monster that he is and Big Boy just being as dope as he is and shit. I can see why a lot of people like yeah, give the South they just do and it's kind of monumental. It. Yes, mm -hmm. it's kind of monumental that they're number one because at the Source Awards, Drake said that yeah, shit. South got something to say. South got something to say and there it is. Yeah. There it is. The EFM been happy ever since. <laughs> 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 and I mean, yo, from that day forward, it was like he was on a mission to show people and, and the South came up, man, big time. Well, they been up, but mm -hmm. we just oh, didn't know it. I just seen an a, a interview with Baby, and Baby said that nobody would never have it back. He said the West Coast would never have it back, the East Coast would never have it back. He said it's in the South, it's staying in the South, and that's it. I disagree. It's, it's, this world, disagree. it's worldwide, right? Yeah, now. I don't think even a region that's will have it back. Nah, because, yeah. I mean... They got a whole fucking movement in the UK that's these motherfuckers. I like that drill. Nice. These motherfuckers is nice. Not just the drill, but, you know, other shit. Yeah. Shout out to Ocean Wisdom. Shout out to my man, Young Meth. Welcome home, Brody. And they got... Uh, shout out to Lil Sims. Is the nigga named Sh Young Meth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he earned that shit. He nice. It's, nice. This, this boy, nice. On the record, I did a record with him. Goes, oh, okay. I did a record with him, yeah. Smoke him? Nah. <laughs> 
Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Penny Dreadful. Who is this guy, man? Who is this guy? guy. And y'all can check it out afterwards. It's called um, Winnebago. Okay. Um, also, Lil Sims, she got this joint called Gorilla. Check that shit out. She real dope. She real dope. Yes, sir. And also, check out my man, um, PK, Patrick Carnegie. Ooh. Carney. Okay, what is it, Carney? I'm Sounds a big rich. dog. Uh, Stefan with a big, what? He sounds rich to me. He said, with a big, he said, uh, uh, what that motherfucker say? He said, uh. <laughs> where, where, where's Drain at? He should have the accent down. Yeah, he, he, he said, from fuck you and your fat mother. Damn. She can use a tree for a back scrubber. <laughs> I can make a raft out of back blubber, sell to the long lost isles on her back, brother. Man, that sounds Scottish. And you're a virgin. <laughs> You never had sex with a person. <laughs> you only had sex with your right hand. <laughs> we both know that ain't right, man. <laughs> right. And them hot shit. <laughs> Flying in the pilot in the cockpit. <laughs> your nana's got a neck like an ostrich. Tell her come nibble on this PK cock, bitch. Oh, oh, damn. Damn. Let's make Salute. noise for PK. Yeah. <laughs> or Mugs or Pete Rock? Pete. I love mugs, but Pete. Goodfellas or Casino? Oh, fuck. Ooh. Goodfellas, because it's shorter. That, that, that casino get long in the tooth like a it's motherfucker, true, true. man. Like, I get tired of hearing Sharon Stone cry and whine and shit. It's, it's true. Uh, That's a good point, man. I think we've been waiting for this, this, this question all night. Mm -hmm. Shug or Puff? Sugar puff. Sugar, sugar, sugar puff. Sugar puff. <laughs> <laughs> That's if you say both. We good? I'm not saying both. What do you mean? Sugar and puff or what? What do you like, mean? My whatever preference? you want. Yeah, your preference. I don't know, Sug. Puff. Okay. All right. So we, oh, no, we don't take a shot then. Yeah. We pick. Okay. NWA or Public Enemy? Mm. Oh. They both stood. Damn. Chuck. You feel like you want to take a shot, man. You, yeah, you could. Uh, yeah, okay, shot. Shot. <laughs> shot. 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 Okay, uh, Rock Riders <laughs> or Rockefeller? <laughs> Y'all better take that shot. All right, let's take yeah. a shot. Damn. I thought you would say leave that shit alone. I was, I was, I was going to oh, no, take the shot. And, and this last one, and then we, we, we finish up. Yeah. Loyalty or respect? Let me see. I'm going to say loyalty because, uh, you know, a lot of times people don't respect it, but after mm -hmm. a while, it, it gains your respect. So I'm going to go with loyalty and shit, man. So let's make some noise for that. I'm going to take a piss. No, oh, I'm done. Take a pick real quick. All right, cool. I'm gonna hold it down. Um, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This famous tour, mm -hmm. you, Method Man, DMX, Ja Rule, Jay Z. Yeah. It's rumored that you and Meth, me and Red, yeah, you and Red, yeah, came out first. Yeah, we did. But y'all destroyed it so much that it made people want to come to the show After early. a while, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the story. And then I was there. I, I know that shit happened. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so DJ Clue was the, the house DJ. Okay. And he would be out there, lights be on, you know, people are still getting in their seats. And uh -huh. no lie, sometimes we would go out on that stage, the lights would still be on, and people were still getting in their seats. But by the time we finished the show, uh, our set, rather, it would always be packed, and they would be amped up for the rest of the show. And this is when y'all start flying? Yeah, yeah. So then, after like the third one, the reviews come in, and people's like, get to the show early. Early. Method Man and Red Man do their thing, and yeah, man. What's I, early to? Um, I would say like before the first act, come on, shit, what, seven, seven, seven? Because there was an act that came on before y'all? Nah, it's just Clue. He was the house oh, DJ. Clue. Yeah, yeah. And then we would come on after that and shit. But I mean. It says a lot because we got um, the Source Award that year for uh, Performers of the Year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was dope. Mm -hmm. Now, even now, though we didn't get to perform at the Source Awards, because that's when that fight happened. That was when the fight happened at the Source Awards. Yeah, that's when we won. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dudes was in the crowd scrapping. <laughs> this is not the Source Awards where. Sugar and them is on the stage. No, not that one. Nah, that, that one. I had my wife at that one too, man. That shit was weird that night. That shit was real weird. 
I didn't like that night. It, it showed a big divide in hip hop. You know what I mean? In hip hop or in hip -hop. East and West? No, in hip hop, in hip -hop. period. Yeah. And, and the thing about it was the way it turned in the East Coast, West Coast was because of media attention and they steered it into that because it sold more articles. Mm. Mm. I, I noticed a yeah, cliche yeah. type of question. Yep. Mm -hmm. I noticed a cliche type of question, but did you ever think that hip hop would make it this far? Hey, I do it. You I knew, knew it? it. I knew it. It's like the the same reason why I love being black. Oh, I love being because it's like too. I think I got an advantage okay. because of being black. Mm -hmm. I think I have an advantage because of the way I came up in this world and shit. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm. It's like my disadvantages are my advantages in this world. Mm. Because I'm always going to be underestimated from the door, but I'm always ready. So I don't have to get ready. God damn. God damn, that makes noise for Matt. <laughs> you, know, we gotta, you know you got to go. Yeah, I got to catch um, this flight. But uh, did you ever, because I, I don't think you accept this terminology. You going to talk that sex symbol shit? Yeah. I, don't, I knew you were going to say that shit. Look. Um, <laughs> what's right. going on here? Let me clear this up for the last, I'm gonna clear this up for the last time. Of course, the admiration is a great thing. It makes me feel great. Right. Does it tend to be uncomfortable at times? Absolutely. Right. For me, it's being put on a pedestal that people create in their own minds, and then when you fall short of that. Mm. There's no coming back from it, and there's no forgiveness or, uh, uh, what's the word, um, redemption mm -hmm. in their eyes. Mm -hmm. So for me, just put me on the ground level with all you guys. Mm -hmm. We can all commute together and shit and see the beauty in each and every last one of us, because all of us got sexy in us. Let's just mm. keep it that. That's real. That's real. <laughs> but I'll be sexy. Why not? <laughs> But uh, there. <laughs> and shout out to the men's health. Yo, yeah, you sure. fifty and Buster. That's dope. Fifty was very gracious because I'm pretty sure that was his cover. And this dude is such a marketing genius that, yeah, fifty is he definitely chess. He not checkers at all, man. Mm -hmm. And he definitely knows what he's doing and shit. Shout out to Fifth. Shout out to Fifth. Shout out to Fifth. Come here. <laughs> Let me just tell you, 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 my role model. Mm. Salute, salute. You my you my brother. I know you know that, but I'm gonna tell you in front of the people. You know, um, if I need advice, I'll call you. I'll reach salute. out to you. Yeah. You always pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. You always talk to me, mm -hmm. and I just want you to know how appreciated you are in life as as totality. Thank not you, just, brother. Not just not just who you are as an artist, who you are as a man, because. Our relationship is man relationship. You yeah, know what it I'm is. Yeah, I remember it is. I had one because Meth came out one time. <laughs> Let me just say, I was, I was on Keith Murray. <laughs> I was finally, I finally had my one headlining tour, and Meth came out on Keith Murray's shit. He started walking on people's heads. Yeah, Wait a minute, my brother. Wait a minute, my brother. <laughs> I got that shit from my daughter, though. <laughs> but Meth, we want to tell you, we love you. We want to tell you how honored we are to Thank have you, you on this show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and you. And we'll tell you us. how much you mean to hip hop. Appreciate it. Because you really, really are a GOAT. Appreciate it. You really that. are a GOAT. And it's transcendent yes, hip hop at this point for sure. And nigga, you on everything. Yeah. Thank you, brother. I, I, Thank I, you, if brother. You, if I see you selling Apple Jacks waffles tomorrow, I won't be surprised. Because I'm like, I'm going to buy those Apple Jacks. Waffles. Oh, waffles. <laughs> <laughs> because you can do everything, bro. Thank you, and bro. And do no wrong. Tell you that Thank as a you, man. Bro. Don't take nothing away from me to tell you how great you are. It don't take nothing away from anything. And I just want to say thank you, my brother. Big up James Ellis. Yes, sir. Salute to this platform, too, man. Y'all killing it. Thank yes. you. I love the fucking platform, and you guys are always going to have an audience in my house. Thank sure. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so right. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want everybody to get up and make some noise for motherfucking <laughs>